Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Unexpectables D&D Livestream Podcast. I am Takahata101, and I am joined by uh, the my Oriwa Nakamas. I am joined by the DM extraordinaire, the one with the third eye, Monty Glue. Hi. Okay, did he really... <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you in the distance, like about like thirty feet back behind a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's like my DM screen. I could be like, "Hey, <laughs> just one single thumbs up." <laughs> she's she's just got half her. She's just peering over a DM screen with half her face covered up. <laughs> That's good. I like like the Phantom of the Opera. Arson Light Crowl, thank you for the one thousand bits. A lot of subs were flying there real fast. We're also joined by Gaijin. You Goomba. actually said that. I am friends. You need to use no, not what you pleb. <laughs> ore wa nakama. No, it's it's uh, ore 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 no nakama. Ore yeah, no? my no is the possessor. It's just, it's just a, this is such a hard language. It really is grammatically. Okay, thank you for the one thousand minutes. <laughs> All right, well, we're joined by he who vapes a yep. lot, but never, but but never. <laughs> he who vapes a lot, senile snake, and we're also joined by he who japes a lot, Chris Zito. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I'm here from the studio. Okay, I'm back. Okay, what, what are we doing? Oh shit, we're live. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're yeah, we're gonna be playing some uh, fighters. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but real fast before we get started here, guys, thank you again for supporting the podcast, uh, which is now averaging 500 loud downloads a day. Ooh. Big shout out to our. Audio engineer Austin like, Eruption. Thank like you so him. much. Oh, Carl Tash. Thank you for the 500 yeah, yeah. bits. And also, you know, we have some merchables, guys, if you can believe it. Probate 1000 bits. How did you get out of the Shadow Realm, Zito? Derpy Doogie, thank you for the 400 I never, bits. Now, I guys, never fucking uh, went there, my dude. I wasn't part of the DBZ realm. I was outside of it. <laughs> he was in the Rotten Veil vale the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jake. <laughs> So, by the way, Nadine, we got some reviews from last week's session. Oh. You have a nice singing voice. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, did we explain? The Red, the red Storm Crow, thank you for the 1500 bits. Question for Gaijin. I'm currently in a 90s mo binge movie. Oh, uh, definitely sent him that question over on his personal stream, which, by the way, they can find it at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. No H. No H. No H. Three instead of an E. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Thanks. <Aww. laughs> No worries, no worries, no worries, guys. Uh, but what were you? Oh, I like just said we explained like the that I sang before, right? Like I can't. No, it. no, yeah. Some people don't. Some people actually, people don't know that if you can actually inform. Oh, them. I, I, you never mentioned. Cool. No, I have fifteen. I have right, fifteen for the 1, years minutes. of singing, and then I stopped because I didn't want to do musical theory because it was like music math. So that's awesome. Hmm. Yeah, no. And then I stopped and then I went to art school. Whoops. Coming coming from a guy coming from a guy who did music for like five years. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it was nice. Ex Nick, I'm thinking of the fifteen hundred bits. It was hard though. It was a little too too much at times, but well, that and school. On top of school it was too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm, no, it, it it could definitely happen here, guys. God so damn, we got uh, people in the chat going so... quick maths. <laughs> I'm just gonna I, turn off my heater. I'll be right back, real quick. I just Avery Manly Puppet, two thousand seven hundred bits, twenty seven hundred bits. Thank you so I'm much. So happy people are now actually like saying quick maths in the chat. Yeah. I've I've put this curse on Avery us. Manly Puppet. Thank you. We're weirdo arm one thousand bits. I binge watched forty hours of this in the last three days to watch this live, and the hype is real. Oh. Weirdo arm, thank you for the one thousand bits. Oh That's my how God. long our series runs for so far. Oh it's forty hours long, Tice. That's yeah, a lot of hours. Sorry, I'm far away. Give me a second here. I gotta sing, sing for us. Uh, if you can give me something with a bass line, I can probably sing it because that's how I sang. I was I was a uh, bass. Uh, you were a bass singer. Oh my yeah. God, that's nuts. Oh, that's that. You, I see, you are also a bass singer, Zito. Oh, I see. Oh, it's different for, for men and women. The different types are... Uh, did you, did you at least, were you able to actually hit baritone, though? Me? Or yeah. Kurt? No, you. Me? I, I, oh, I was stuck in alto oh. and choir. 
but it ended up messing up my voice. My singing teacher, actually, it was a different choir for like a theater troupe. Hmm. My singing teacher actually had to come in and yell at the, the choral director to be like, don't put her in alto, put her in. Oh, oh dude, party. I had to fucking, I had to like, they, they had to stop and put me to the side because my, one of my, uh, one of the songs they put me on, they were like, shit, one of our tenor guys is gone. Zito, get in here. <laughs> I don't sing tenor, dude. Oh, man. So it was a hot mess and they were all pissed off. And I'm like, what did you <laughs> expect? Then they gave you a tenor, and then you didn't get the money. All right, here we go. We've got some bread drops here. Emon Tizzle, 1,500 bits. You all deserve all the money I could give. If I had money, this would be billions of bits. Thank you, Emon Tizzle. Overlord Dark Mood, 1,500 bits. Yay, I get to feed the good boy. Here's the first bits of the Unexpectables. Love this week. It's loved since it started. I can't wait to watch more. Thank you, guys. And thank you for all the laughs and have helped me get through these last few days. No problem, Overlord Dark Mood. And Necro Drake, 1,000 bits. Monty singing was wonderful. It shows that she works hard at it. Oh, don't tell him oh. that. Oh, no. <laughs> and lots of subs here. Byakuyo, Renegade, my goodness. Random18, thank you so much, guys. Uh, real uh, quick announcement here. We will be uh, we'll be ending uh, around 10 o'clock tonight because uh, poor Goomba has to head hey, somewhere. Hey, Where it's, you ready, it's not necessarily a... No, 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 it's fine. On the bus you go. <laughs> Taka. You fit so Taka, well under Taka. there, though. I'm going to leave you in that jail cell. Don't you dare. <laughs> That's Monty, he's metagaming. Not allow it. <laughs> no. So no. actually, ah! actually we uh, 32 episodes so far. This is the 33rd, I believe. Yeah. Uh we go through 3 hours every episode, so in total that actually means our total unexpectable's runtime is about 96 hours. Oh. So just just to just to quickly ah. explain why I have to bail um, some of you might know my friends Tomo and Hutch. I talk about them a lot in my content. They help me with research. They're actually coming to visit from Tokyo, and we have to go pick them up at the airport at like That's seven. Awesome. So That's awesome. You got to be up yeah. and awake to Dracon drive. That's yeah. for sure. Draconian 9, thank you for the 1,000 bits. My goodness. Everyone's being so let, me, let me go, let me go numb on some tons real quick. Travis Ava Carvey, yeah. 500. Excuse me. All right. Uh, Travis, say, Carrie, definitely, definitely send that our way for the fan art special on Monday. Alrighty, our guy just got up. He he, right. he he already left. He already us. had to go. Yeah. It, it's all damn. Well, time flies when you're when you're doing bit callouts. So. <laughs> oh, 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 it's such a... oh he's back. No one knows right. what it's like. Sorry, Maybe sorry. Too much, too much, but... too much. Too much. Aki birthday cake. Oh, happy oh. birthday to her, by the way. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, Alrighty, guys. Um, we'll be breaking uh, twice for bio breaks and for some bit callouts, guys. Thank you so much for all the monetary support that you give to the Unexpectables because of your kind contributions. We're able to continue doing this show because DMing's a part time job. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of Ain't that right, it's Nadine? A lot of work. <laughs> Ain't that right, Zeno? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I However, don't roll on that one. Don't roll, don't, don't, don't roll on that one on a D100. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that was legend. Soon. That was legend. No, it's right. fine. No, that it's was... fine because now Nick is a deer for his impatience, and I love every second of it. <laughs> Does he like grass? He's going to start liking grass. That's some good grass. That's a gateway drug. All right, Nadine, take us Alrighty. away. When last we left our heroes, Task the Kobold Ranger, Freckles the Kinku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, and Panic the Tiefling Bard, the party went to enjoy a nice relaxing night at the local entertainment district and the opera house. Unbeknownst to the party, a plot was brewing behind the scenes of the opera. A dragon puppet controlled by a gaggle of pirates staged a mass kidnapping, swallowing the actors into a portal and delivering them to the sky pirate ship high above the city. Chasing their leads and Borky determined to rescue the drow singer Starlight, the party was aided by the mysterious pigeon mancer Taylor, who called forth a massive swarm of pigeons to convey the party to the massive pirate vessel. Dumped on deck, Panic attempted to intimidate the hundreds of men on board, but was stopped quickly with a few crossbow bolts to the chest. Borky, Task, and Panic were swiftly arrested, while Greckles was mistaken for an engineer of the ship and greeted as if a friend. Taking advantage of the situation, Freckles played the role of Fletch and left to gather intel. Soon after arrest, the captain of the ship, Captain Bladefoot, appeared before the party and the captured actors and explained that he needed to borrow them to put, up, put on a performance for a storm giant who had captured their base. 
During his explanation, Captain Bladefoot noticed Task and confused the small kobold for a young dragonborn and let him out of the brig and adopted him right on the spot, donning him the name Captain Bladefoot Jr. With two party members now still in jail, the Unexpectables are in a tricky situation. Uh-huh. So, Greckles, at this point you are in the engine room. Mm-hmm. Um, you have this weird tool in your hand with a crystal. It's like a, it's like a magic wand with a crystal at the end of it. And you are just tapping this giant, more giant crystal, just like ting. It makes kind of a soft gonging noise, almost like a wind chime. Right. Um, kind of soothing if it weren't for the low rumbling of the actual magical engine itself. So, uh, fetch. Oi. How was it there on the surface? And you see the Kiwi Kenku turn to you, and he's still like hitting the little crystal with the big, you know, hitting the big crystal with the little crystal and kind of tilts his head to you. Well, I could say it'd, it'd be great if I didn't have to go back there again. Oh, it really was that terrible there, eh? <sighs> A job like that's never a fun time, mate. You were so excited for it, too. Well, uh, things change. We had that runabout with, what was it? The couple of the big dudes that we picked up big dudes oh oh yo the, the you mean the orc and the and the the winged man yeah i don't know what that was all about all, all i know is, is that that poor puppet it, it just got wrecked oh we worked so hard on that too no yeah, well better luck next time i suppose maybe we'll steal an opera party again no uh, hey. I, 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 oh, oh hang on hang on hang on oh, uh, I, I gotta get i got a quick question though because I got my head beaten in pretty bad. Where where are they keeping the other box? The other box? The other box. I, I heard the boys talking about using a box to get the to to kick to kidnap them actors on board. What was he talking about? Oh, it's the captain's box. Is it the captain's box? I don't know. Fletch, you really must have you must have caved your head in the captain's box. You know the portal box. Right, right. I'm sorry that that orc hit me. Right good in my head. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know, Captain now, it's probably keeping it closed, considering right, he left right. it behind. Hopefully, our ground troops, and he gives you a wink, will be able to get their hands on it back. And uh, once this is all done, we're back in our base. Well, Bob's your uncle, and we're done. But uh, those boxes are, well, at this point, just a box, you know? Right, Why right. are you worrying about it so much? You know, when they're too far away, they don't work, right? Alavest is such a big city, you never know what them wizards could do. They might be able to reverse it, you know? You met a wizard in Alavest? Oh, I've seen plenty of wizards in Alavest. Tall- and and the, the Kiwi Kenku like shuffles closer, like he kind of looks. He looks at the gnome. <laughs> it's like, I hear they can summon things from different places. And then if you look at them funny, they can take your nose off. Well, I don't... <laughs> how, how big are the eyes in comparison to the pupils right v- now? Very big. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Uh, it, wouldn't surpri- it wouldn't surprise me no bit, one bit. I, oh. I saw a couple of them in the audience, and when we were sneaking in, I saw th- they were using some kind of wizard stick to make sure that people weren't bringing in dangerous magical items. It was bizarre. Oh. But all, all I know is, is that those people there, they got access to something fierce. That's right, bonkers that is. And then you hear shouting from the side, the gnome, Would you two shut up and get back to work? Right, 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 Miss Oma. And he goes. Wait, wait, right what, what was, what was, what was, what did he say? Irma. Miss, Miss Irma. Miss Irma. I assume Irma is the tall woman that we. No, the gnome. The gnome oh, just. The gnome just is yelled at you. Yeah, she goes right back to working. Oi, Fletch. Oi. What your readings say? I'll give. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll tink the crystal. I know you can do it, you get. Now tell me what it's saying. What are your colors like? Are we good? Are we in the clear? From what I can tell, Irma, uh, we're in the clear. I'm not, sen- I'm not seeing any weird reverberations, colors, anything like that. It's pretty neutral. What about your mygonical trial fox? How's that looking? <laughs> God damn it, you did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> can I do? Can I go out of the way to make some intelligence kind of... check? Hell yeah! I... That's a neg. That's a that <laughs> one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That one. it's good. Probably. <laughs> what was the thing called? <laughs> 
I put the thing of a jig inside uh, the my gonagal trek to flux. My gonagal trek to flux. I probably said it wrong the first time. Well, it seems all right, but I'll keep you. I'll keep you in check if something goes wrong. She just scoffs, Margo, and she turns over to the human, who's like, "Ah, uh, yeah," and she says, "What about you? I'm all clear. Everything is in the green, Kiwi." And they turn to the Kiwi Kenku, and he gives a with the tiniest little hand, the tiniest thumbs up. So Hi, all right. So his name is just straight up Kiwi. Yeah, his name's Kiwi. And Mario is the tall woman, I assume. Yeah, she's like a tall, like really super plain looking woman. She's kind of got a long face. If I mm -hmm. stab him, does he bleed green? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So it seems like Irma's actually working with him and not captured or anything like that. So, hmm, interesting. Oh, Kiwi! Kiwi! Oh, sorry. Kiwi! Fetch! Stop whispering to each other. Here! And she, she tosses you like two bags, like just throws them at you like backpacks. Mm -hmm. Go check the main engine. Hovering this low for so long might have had overstaying problems with our magical engine. I want to be sure that everything is in tip-top shape, much less Captain Bladefoot screams his head off at the likes of me. Oh, you got nothing to worry about. Come on, Kiwi. Ooh, oh, we, got, we got some robots. Oh, yeah, everyone's robotic. Oh, no, we are roboting. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Discord. Okay. Beep, I, think well, I am Pirate Bladefoot Jr. <laughs> Wesley. <go>. Wesley. <laughs> uh, all right, Army. All right, Army. Got nothing to worry about. Hey, Kiwi. Let's go. Oh, oh all right. You are the Fletch. I am up. And he quickly just trots off. Like he's got his arms up, pulled down up to his side, and he's just like jogging out. I'll, I'll follow. <laughs> Meanwhile. Yay. Now, boy, and Captain Bladefoot, uh, Captain Bladefoot leans down to you, Task. Oh, kind of like shrink down a little bit, trying to keep on the plane that his size is intimidating. Oh. Where, where are they? Uh, you're currently walking on the deck, um, and there are lots of people around. They're currently kind of cleaning up, sort of, you can tell that there was sort of a procedure to the kidnapping. Um, actually, roll an investigation check as you're walking. Let's assume you've been walking with him for a while. Investigation very well. Investigation. In investigate. Here we and go. Could, Let's get it I'm, I'm not saying this to make sure to get in my best game. And there we go. 16. 16. There we go. Not bad. You get the sense of the way that this was set up is they had the two boxes. And now, like, they basically set up a box to where whoever came out of the box, immediately there were people who were going to jump on them. Grab whoever came through the box and arrest them immediately. Um, so you get the sense that people are just kind of cleaning that up, like gathering what remains of the rope and, you know, other things and whatnot. You also notice that there's just like a giant pile of like instruments and props and like curtains and like a huge pile of just like theater things that, that just indiscriminately just like, eh, I'll just put it in this big pile for now. Um, and as you walk, Cat and Bladefoot, uh, I'm going to roll in so you can see. Okay, natural 20. He notices that you're you're scared. He goes, oh, oh, I'm sorry there, lad. Didn't mean to frighten you nothing. It's just, you know, you, we were kind of taken by a bunch of pirates. I only heard stories that that could just mean bad things, like dying. <gasps> oh, he like, he like, he like, over the top, like, grabs his hand and he pulls it to his chest, like, oh, like a ghast. Yeah. Now, sunny there. We just be borrowing your fine conjugation of actors. And you're like, bringing us back? I yes. We be bringing you back. Oh, that's a load off my toad. Oh, I'm sorry. The barmaid that I live with said that. Oh, that's a nice saying there. Uh, but you ain't going back. You're my son now. Hooray! Yeah, Bravo. question mark! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, quick, quick question, quick question, Nadine. Do you want me to play professional pirate from Muppet Treasure Island real no. fast here? <laughs> we got Captain okay. Fever. We lost all sense we've had. <laughs> Margaritas at the midnight buffet. <laughs> well then, okay. what you said something about giants? Then you're going to make us perform for giants? Why they're attacking the city? Attacking 
attacking you. So you'll have to forgive me, boy. And he gets on like one knee, which is his blade leg. And it's like really kind of intimidating looking. Yeah, it's a sharp blade that if he just gives a stry little... If, if this man was to scratch his, whatever's left of his kneecap, that thing's hitting my arm. <laughs> he gets on one knee and he leans down and he goes, I, we... Oh, you're so young, nothing on your mind. Don't worry about it, son. It's just... We perhaps been chosen a place that isn't so... empty for our base, and now... Ye who owns thy base is mad. They, you, so, it, it, Tass kind of like puts his hand up. I might seem young, yes, but I believe I do understand what you're saying. You've tried to make a home and your home was taken. I more like it was the giant's home, then we made it our home, and then the giant came back home. I see. You're a sharp one, you are, and he pinches your cheek and gives Thanks. a little shake. Well, thank, thank you, Captain. It's just, you know, after being hatched and being expelled from my clan and having to come all the way to Alavast on my own with just my wits and a bow I found on the floor, it's stuff you have to pick up, unfortunately, not something a child should know. Well, you'll be getting along with your brothers and sisters right soon, then. Come with me. And he... <laughs> opens a door to what looks like the captain's chambers and as you step in you see um, a bunch of books you see various riches giant golden vases and you see panic's guitar on his desk right in the middle there's a smell of ash and pipe smoke and you see next to panic's guitar a book that's open as well Ooh, can i peer at the book Absolutely. Roll a perception. Uh, actually, investigation. Um, actually, I'll say investigation. You can see it. I can. I'd say you can see it. What's this? Dad, it's fourteen. Uh, roll knowledge history because you do see it. Woohoo! Here I go with a twelve. Okay. You look at that book. You can't read what it says, but you recognize the symbols. And the reason you recognize the symbols because it's the same that's on Panic's pants, actually. Ooh. And it is open. There's a few crude illustrations on it. And Captain Bladefoot goes over and he you see him as he pushes the chest exactly similar to the one in the dragon. He kind of shoves it to the side and um, opens another chest and puts some stuff inside. And just closes up. He goes, what you looking at there, son? Just looking at the pretty pictures on the on the flat tree. I the, the flat tree. Is that not what these things are made of? He oh, points to the paper. Sunny, and he gets back on a knee again. That there's a book, and not one for kids. And he <laughs> slams it closed. Come oh, on gee, now. Lookers. Golly gee, I guess that's not for me then. <laughs> Golly gee, that's not for me. I and I don't want you touching this neither. And he taps the the guitar. Oh, the, the, the devil man had that. Aye, he did. And we are lucky he didn't play it. Is They they kind of added him onto the play early. Did he... Like, what's so scary about that? I thought that makes pretty music sounds. Depends on who plays it, son. This here be an instrument of a devil of discord. Tass, like, puts his hands to his mouth. <gasps> <laughs> Hi, but that's nothing but a folk's tale and a scary story, not for the ears of you. Your very large, adorable ears. Now, come on. Come on. Follow me. And he waddle. gives you a push. Waddle. Waddle. <laughs> Straight <Okay>. as really waddle. <laughs> like, 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 like a Lala fell. Oh, Lala fell. Um, I like these guys. I'm not going to lie. I like these guys. <laughs> uh, he opens the door uh, to a different room, and you hear a bunch of kids, like, screaming and yelling. And you see about four kids, and they're all squabbling. And uh, roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh all righty, dex save. Here we go. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, suddenly, out of nowhere, a teddy bear comes flying, and you just duck out of the way as it goes right between your ears, touchdown, uh, and hits the wall behind you. Woof. 
Hey, kids, what I'd be saying about the toys. You put that down right now. Never done. And he, he watches the pirate goes around and starts grabbing children in one arm and one in the other and starts like kind of like getting them in order. I where it be Scarlet? And one of the kid goes, we know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, come here, come here, lad. Come here, and he grabs you by the shoulder and brings you forward. I want y'all to meet your new brother, Captain Bladefoot Jr. He gives you a pat on the shoulder. All the kids just stare at you. Tess stares back. Uh, what, what are the species? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, like, what, what, what am I looking at here race-wise? Uh, you have four kids. Uh, one, what looks like a half-elf girl. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see the, the one with the deeper voice is a half-orc. Oh, boy. Uh, and there is also a, uh, a knoll. Oh, damn. And a human boy. But he looks a bit older. Like, he looks like maybe 14, 15. Well, Does he have one stra- strand of hair over his eye? Like, pfft. Yeah, he looks like a scene kid. Oh, nice. Oh, damn it! Uh, and how old do the other kids look? Like, around what age? Uh, you see the kids. The youngest is definitely the half-elf girl. She looks like she's maybe, like four to six years old. Uh, the half orc kid looks like maybe eight, nine, and the knoll, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, just like his, this walleye dog kid. How? He's, li- he's got like, he's currently ripping the head off of a teddy bear with his teeth and just drooling and staring up at you. All right, now you play nice oh, with your new brother. Go on, go on, he gives you a push. Uh, Task kind of like, so Task, who did I happen to catch who threw the teddy bear? Uh, it was the uh, the human boy, and it Tat- seemed to be like they were running around. The human boy was throwing it at one of them, but they dodged out of the way and it just almost hit you. Yeah, little task will pick it up and hand it to him. He doesn't take it from you, he just gives you a look and then just like <sighs> moves his head and tosses his hair and crosses his arm and leans Tash up. Tash throws it at his head. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll and then Tash and Tash throws it at his head and smiles playfully. You hit him on the head, and he turns, and he looks super mad at you, and, like, Task, rips his fist. Task grins. Is that not what you human kids play? I ain't a human kid. He crosses his arms again, all moody. I Skype, be nice. Give her! And he turns down to the knoll. The knoll's like, <clears throat> stops from, like, chewing on the teddy bear and looks up. Give her! No biting this time. Tass Give turns it. around. Tass turns around, looks at the captain. It's okay. It's okay, Dad. Tass oh flashes his toothy grin. I can bite back. All right. Well, um, no. Oh. Raising kids be hard. All right, you kids have fun. Uh, don't, don't destroy my. Uh, have have fun. <clears throat> if you need anything, and he leads down to you, I, I'll be around. Stay here. Okay. Okay. I love you. And he grabs your shoulders and gives you a little shake. All right. And bed my son down. <laughs> and he closes the door. Like, like just instant, like from cute face, like this is some pop team epic bullshit, like from happy face to fucking serious face. Okay, what uh, are my options here? The little girl, uh, the the half elf girl, walks up to you. She's got on the crook of her arm uh, a little squid, like a stuffed toy, like a stuffed squid. Oh. And she, she walks up to you and she just touches your face. Task will allow it. You're a dragon. Some people call me that. Yes, Task keeps the facade going. She keeps her hand there and she looks at you. And she goes, "You're a really cool dragon." Thank you. You're a very nice half elf. Not like most of the others I've seen in Alavast. What's Alavast? That's the place where I came from. I used to live up in the mountains, and then when my clan threw me out for doing something really bad, I came all the way to Alavast with a bow and arrow. Why wouldn't Dragon want a dragon? Why wouldn't wait? What was that again? I'm sorry. Why wouldn't up. Why wouldn't a dragon want a dragon? Sometimes other dragons don't like the colors of other dragons. You see, he like shows her his hand. This color is red, and there are some that don't like red because they think we're very 
angry and aggressive. She just lets go and she walks over, like walks away. It's very weird. Um, and Sky, who you know is the teenager, kind of looks like, all right, that was odd. And he gets up and he goes, all right, well, your bunk's over there. You snore, you're dead. And he steps out of the room and just <clears throat> slams the door behind him. What's wrong with him? He is a teenager. I can see that. And she crawls into bed and she just grabs a blanket and she rolls over to go to sleep. The knoll is just destroying the teddy bear. It's just, it's in shambles and just destroyed. Tass just takes the other teddy bear, sits it right next to him, and like taps him on the snout for him to get his attention. <laughs> he like turns up and growls at you, like bearing yeah. these little tiny puppy dog teeth, but at the same time, very yep. intimidating. Task smiles and and lifts the 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 neck to the side of the, lifts the so tilts the head of the uh, doll to the side and points to where like the neck where the shoulder is connected and bites and bites down on it. That's where you strike. The Knoll kid takes the teddy bear. Do you give it to him? Yep. He grabs the the body and he grabs the head and just without even trying, just <laughs> snaps it in half. Task and gives him a thumb. Him. Oh yeah, Task gives him a thumbs up. All right. Meanwhile, in the jail jail cell, <laughs> do we have a harmonica? Bork, Bork, Borky's holding his like him hands up to his mouth, pretending it's a harmonica. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Do, 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 do. I've got the blues. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I've got the blues. <laughs> For Usper's sake, one of the guards walks by. Would you shut your screaming howler for five seconds? Actors. And he goes back and leans up against kind of the entry point of the brig. I would like. I wouldn't make noises if I could have some playing cards or something. Japers. Hmm. Hey, Patrick, what's how's you doing? Mm, we're in jail, Borky. How do you think I am doing? I imagine the How alter self you? hasn't worn off. I'm no, you still have. You're still decked out. And in yeah, fact, he, most he's, of the actors he's... are like away from you at this point. They're like, ooh, ooh. He's, he's just kind of been examining himself. He's, he's like tails, tail, wings. This is cool. Why wasn't I born with these? <laughs> I'm sorry to separated you from your greatest asset. Yiki Tao. I thought that was my face. Would you like me to? Well, I mean, I depreciate the value, but your guitar would only go up. Hmm. <laughs> I want it back. <laughs> your face? When's the, when's, the, when's the potion wear off? Uh, I think an hour from now. Oh, okay. Well, in the meantime, um. But like usually Task or Greco's do something, we just go along with the flow. What are we supposed to do right now? Well, I've got something I need to take care of. And Panic walks up to the bars and like kind of knocks on them. Ting, 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 ting. Uh, the half orc who just yelled at Borky turns and looks. He's very grizzled looking, kind of a loose shirt showing his chest. Um, he's got like two cutlasses on either side. Panic, uh, points to the two crossbow bolts in his chest. And he says, what are you going to do about these? Aye, that's your souvenir. Sit down. Very well. Panic, panic, will, get those out, really? panic will, will, will go back and sit down. He's going to try to pull the crossbow bolts out of his chest. Just roll a medicine What's check. Bo oh, boy. Bo bo okay. Uh can, can Borky assist him? All right, here we go. Bo can Borky, like, put his feet on Panic's giant chest and, like, trying to pull All them right, out? All right, you guys can each roll a medicine check for each individual bolt. This is going to be interesting. Excellent. What's this right. bowl of throbbing right, so flesh? What... Okay, 20. so what do I do here? Okay, not All bad. All right, so I pull, I, I pull, I pull right here. Panic? Uh, yes. Oh. All right. And... Three. Oh, no. 
Uh, Panic, you grab the first one. It's not as much as a deep wound. You just kind of like, just, you just pull it out. Um, and then so Morky grabs the other one and like, he puts his foot up on your chest to like balance himself, but then the foot slips and he just grabs you and just pulls you onto the floor. Like you just full on just boom, right into the ground. Oh, oh, did the arrow just magic trick deeper into his chest? Uh, it snaps uh, to the side. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, that's really, it that's hurts, really bad, though. real fact. Oh, oh that's just bad. That's bad. Um, I think I'm bleeding again. Okay, okay. Uh, just, okay, just... Okay, okay, hear me out. I might, I might punch no, it. No, 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 no. I will leave it in there until okay. I get the professional. Okay. Okay. But are you on your going, you Panic's going. Panic, are you going, in your stomach? Sorry, I, 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 I guess. Uh, wait, how did I fall? Because you I imagine fell I, like I, right I, forward onto the ground. Uh, I, I try to brace myself at least. Yeah, you do. There is an arrow sticking out of my chest. <laughs> yeah, that's why it snaps sideways. Oh. Sorry, what did you say that you wanted to do? Uh, I'm going to try and hide the other bolt in my pants. Okay. <laughs> nice. Or like. Some somewhere that wouldn't that wouldn't easily be suspected. Uh, yeah, you, you shove it into the side of your pants and you kind of like prop it in your boot, arrow point facing up. Um, and as you're getting up, though, you do hear a and you feel your foot moving beneath. I look down at my foot and I I. One of the floorboards is moving. I. I sort of, I sort of nonchalantly just, I, I expand my wing to hide what, what I'm doing with my hand, and I, and I like, what were you I doing? try to pull up the floorboard. What were you doing? Shh, oh, okay. Just come over here, and oh. he, he like motions with his wing for him to come over here. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. You hobble on over, Borky. The other actors see what you're doing, and they kind of like block the view of the guards. And you reach down, you grab the floorboard, and as it's being pushed up, you actually get a foothold in there. You hear a small, and then you pull up, and you see someone else push, and you bring up the floorboard, and you see staring back at you a young tiefling girl. Uh, and hello. she looks right up at you, and the biggest smile is on her face. Hi, I'm Bulky. This is Panic. I am bulky. How how old is this tiefling girl? I am bulky. Like ten. Mm. Like young, but not like baby. And she looks. She pokes her head out like a gopher and looks side to side, and then looks up to you and kind of sheepishly smiles. And then she starts grabbing the other floorboard and she kind of pushes it over. And she she has a little tool in her hand and she's just. <laughs> She just, <laughs> she's just ripping out the floorboards yeah she's like unscrewing the floorboards <laughs> okay she's like, she's like come on come on come on come on you too come on come on panic panic looks at borky real quick and then he slides down in I, uh, and then she starts putting uh, the floorboards away before you get in borky no, no, no. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Borky sticks his hand in. Borky says, oh, everyone, it was nice uh, meeting you all. I, we, uh, I guess I'm going. Bye. You turn around and the floorboards are back in place. No. Oh. oh. I, I, I look up. I look up. Oh. I look up at Borky. Borky, I will be back for you. I promise. Okay. Just so you know, the last person who said that uh, died. Best of luck. <laughs> Terrible. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> You watch as the tiefling girl lifts up and she actually like grabs your hand, your wrist, uh, panic, and brings up your hand to hold the, the board in place. And she takes this very sophisticated tool in her hand. It's got like a long metal rod in it. Uh, you've never seen a tool like this before. It's, it's rather advanced. It's a screwdriver. It's rather advanced though for this world. Um, and you watch as she eh, 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 eh. It, it bolts it back into place and then it moves like what looks like the thing that keeps the floor up back into place as well. And she steps down uh, onto what looks like kind of like a storage janitor closet of some kind. And she stops and she steps back from you and she just stares up at you like wide eyed, smiling. Who are you? I knew you'd come back. And she like gives you a big hug. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, panic is just kind of like wide-eyed and very confused. 
and she just she hugs you so tightly and you hear her whisper i missed you dad oh, oh no <laughs> if if the, there's like a giant question mark above panic's head right now slightly worried but more confused metal gear solid exclamation mark hmm. uh now that you kind of see her in the light she's kind of got um okay for, like, wait oh yeah. okay, go on go on she she's got small horns uh she's red um and she's got the same sort of yellow eyes that you do um and she has kind of like a do-rag on um and you see some hair coming out spilling out kind of more of a white color as opposed to your yellow um but she's hugging you and it's been a while and she's still hugging you um um uh, uh, okay um <laughs> <laughs> are you 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 don't really look like me i mean you look kind of like me but she like pushes back she goes but mom said you had wings and you'd come back and, and, and you had wings and she like runs around you and like goes underneath the wings and like looks at them with awe. and and you came back you came to get me Well, Look all at right. Camera. Bump, bump, bump. Do you want to get out of here? Uh, well, Mom said you're supposed to come and get me, um, but she gave me to Captain Bladefoot. Um, I don't know what was going on, but the villagers were really angry, and she said I had to go. But she told me before I left that you would come and find me. So. So do you want to leave? Do you, do you want, want me? To if you want me. Let's get out of here. Okay, but we Do you know the way? I do. I I've lived here for a long time. How long? Um, she starts counting on her fingers. <laughs> it's okay, I'll wait. Uh, one, three, seven, 77. I don't know how to count. <laughs> we'll just go with a long time. Okay. okay. So do you know your way around? I do. Um, okay. But if I'm caught at sundown, I'll get in trouble. So, um, she like carefully do opens you... the door. Uh huh. Uh, have you seen a, a, a guitar, a musical instrument with strings? She nods and says, Yeah, yeah, Captain Blindfoot had it. You had it too, and I saw you land. Can you I'm sorry, I should have come to say hello immediately, so it wasn't confusing, but... Oh no, you're all right, you're all right. Um, what, uh, can you show me where it is? Uh, yeah, but it'd be really hard, but we have to be careful, okay? Okay, I will make sure nothing bad happens to you. And she hugs you again. I missed you. I mean, I just met you, but I missed you. What, where, where... Oh, that's good. That's actually good. <laughs> uh, on that note, what is your name? My name's Scarlet. 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 Mm -hmm. It's such a pretty name. Thank you. Okay, follow me. Follow me. All right, panic falls behind. All right. Meanwhile, with Borky, you're left behind. Uh, who's, who else is in the is right now in the uh, jail cell? A with bunch Borky? of banned people. <laughs> Borky's like, ah, uh, so, um, what? <laughs> Out of character, is this my punishment for tubs? I just, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Oh, oh no! Uh, mm. so like, so like, when the guard comes back and uh, my friend ain't here, do you think we're gonna be in trouble? I don't know. To me, the guards seem like daft idiots. Well, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Borky um knocks on the gate. Ding, ding, ding. Guard, guard, 
I have a quick question. Oh, it better be quick. Okay, so this is the half yeah. right? All right, real, real, real quick, quick question. How tall is he? Uh, he is your same as you, basically slightly taller. She's got like really crazy hair. All right, Borky the Orky. It's nice to meet a, a fellow orc, even if you're only half. What clan do you hail from? I was born to a human mother. I came from no clan. You ever know your dad? Your question's over. And he slams back up against uh, the wall and he pulls out a pipe and just starts cleaning it out. Just like... Oh, oh, come on. Don't be that way. Don't get mad like that just in case you can't beat me in an arm wrestling competition. What the bloody hell did you just say? <laughs> Oh, I just said, dude, don't get mad just because you can't beat me in an arm wrestling competition. Arm Are mad. you boasting yourself a bit of strength there? Oh, yeah. I mean, I did suplex one time, a 10-foot hag. So, you know, she's like, you know, you're not that much of a, you know, <laughs> you know, threat. <laughs> the the, the half-orc <laughs> just takes the pipe and just, like, daintily throws it. And it just click, 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 clatters across the ground. And he you drop your pipe. Saunters up the bar, <laughs> and he runs his hand through. He's got a really scraggly beard. Runs his hand through his beard and he goes, "Use a fighter." I like to think of myself more as a warrior. He turns over, and he turns over to the other guard, who's just kind of this like squirrely-looking human, like pirate dude. He's got kind of a massive underbite going on. Hey, the other one looks up to him. Run and grab pitch. I think we got ourselves a fighter. A little bit of fresh blood for the top deck. And the other fighter just like nods oh. nervously and runs. And we're gonna jump back to Greckles. Uh oh. <laughs> Who's pitch? <laughs> what was it? What was it? Name pitch again? Pitch. What was it called? He's again? calling for someone called pitch. Yeah, the party oh. is split was... as fuck right now. I know. <laughs> I, am I did this to myself, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm glad that worked out. Okay. Um, uh. Greckles, you are walking and you see the entire expanse of the ship. It is huge. Yeah. It is absolutely, it just keeps going on and on. And there are people everywhere. You were just like, you're just like, oh, there's gotta be a place where there's no one. Nope. There's a lot of people everywhere. Um, and Kiwi's just yammering on about nonsense. Like, oh, I, I got this card game and I won this gold and blah, 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 blah. Nothing like you listen intently. There's nothing really you pick up on. You pick up on a couple of things. One, you pick up on the fact that you are sort of a report. Like you provide reports to the captain, um, mm -hmm. in regards to the engine. You're, you're the voice of the engineers. Um, and you also learned that you are notorious for stealing food all the time. As uh, Kiwi states that you once again should probably steal some sweet rolls from the food deck. Um, so you get that symbol that that is something Fletch has done commonly. Um, and eventually you make your way into, especially down a set of, of stairs. There's like a big velvet, you think it used to be velvet, a uh, velvet rope blocking off an area. And as you walk through this ship, you get a sense it used to be a beautiful, beautiful vessel. Um, with gorgeous Victorian design almost to it, and it has been neglected pretty poorly. Um, given the people who are occupying it, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, there, you assume there used to be art, but there's like, you know, mustaches painted on ladies and things like that. And like, um, there's just holes in walls. Like someone just punched a hole in the wall because. Um, but eventually you get to this velvet rope, and Kiwi walks over and shink, unlatches it and pulls it over and points to us. All right, you go first, Fletch. Right, right. I think go through. All right, you go down the stairs and just clink, clink, clink. Your hand echoes, and you just hear this vroom, 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 and it just makes your lungs. Like, you ever been to like a, a concert with really, really loud music? Yeah. It, you get the same sensation, but it's in everything. And as you walk down, you see a giant, almost half translucent crystal. Not like Liza's, it's completely different. This large, massive crystal and it just reverberates and it's the same sort of color as those tiny crystals in that engineering room and you get the sense that this is what you guys are looking at mm -hmm. and kiwi turns and he goes so uh what you think we're looking good for a fast flight 
I'm not seeing any differentiation in color or vibration. I don't see if there. I don't see any problem. I think we'd be good to go. Uh, give give me just a sec. I am investigating the shit out of this place for anything. I mean anything. All right. Roll an investigation check. That is a big eleven. So, what are you looking for in particular? Like how this thing works? How it's I'm, I'm, I'm like. I'm looking for connection cables. Uh, if there are any kind of uh, similar smaller crystals that are attached to this larger crystal. Okay. Um, it appears to be bolted in through chains near the top. And then at the bottom, there's kind of like a round hula hoop kind of surrounding it also bolted. And as you actually look down, you see the bottom, like you see the sky beneath you. Um, and you see what you think is the ocean rushing past. You're quite high up. So this thing is literally folding, like floating right above. And the Kiwi drops down the bag and starts sifting through it. And he starts handing you all these tools, just like, all right, well, we can check this stat and we can check this other thing. And uh, don't forget about the Mygoga Trichil Flux. I always forget. I just call it the uh, MTF. Let's, let's check that. Right, right. Uh, any attempts at, in at intelligence checks to know what in the hell any of these things sure, are? Sure, go ahead. 16. That's not terrible. Okay. Use the crystal on the crystal seems to be working. Alright, I go. Oh, oh, a kiwi. I Fletch. This is the right crystal and knock it, right? You've been training for this for 10 years. Of course it is. All right, you must have really smacked on the head there, you must have. Oh, well, kiwi, if you don't mind... Is there? Could, could I re-review the manual? I I'm not feeling all that great. I mean, after after shift, when we can get back in the bunk. I hey, certainly. I think I got my old manual. Could dust it off for you. Yeah, it's real it. strange though. Fletch, real strange. Oh, well, maybe if you're nice to me, I might grab you one of those sweet rolls you've been asking for. Oh, that'd be great. All right, now smack the damn thing. Uh, smack it. Boom. And this one reverberates again. And Panic, as you're walking, like, stealthing up against a wall with Scarlet and uh, Borky, you're holding onto the bars of the jail cell. And even you, Task, as you're sitting with the kids, you feel the shift just, like, shake. Oh, like, almost like a, a stop and speed. And then a go. And as you touch this crystal, you watch as a wave of red, like, like a ripple in the water, spreads across and around the crystal and bounces back. And it changes colors. And Kiwi goes, hmm. You know, Irma says that this here is a hot Nerasmin. But I think it actually might be able to run out. You really think so? Aye, I think I do. I'm getting more red readings for a while now. Well, that ain't ah. right. Yeah, it'll last a few more years. Sh should, enough... we, should, uh, should we at least go tell the captain? Or do we need to go tell Emma? Actually, you know what? And he starts bagging up all the tools. You go talk to the captain, because you need to anyways. Now go talk to Irma. And he pats you on the back. You're welcome. All right. I appreciate it, Kiwi. And he gathers up the things, and he snaps a finger gun, well, finger crossbow at you. And he goes, don't forget the sweet row. And goes up the stairs. Right, right. And you are left in this room, just the, the thing. Oh, Lord, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, um, I guess in that case, I'll collect it. If there, there's literally nothing else I could find or do in this room. You so, have no idea how this thing yeah, works. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I'll um, just, I guess and I'll just And you would need like a bomb to get this thing out of place. Like yeah. it is like metallically like set in place. Right. It's huge too. It's about the size of, what's a good size comparison? Um, it's like the size of a swimming pool. Like a large one that like a hotel. Like it's pretty big. Like you could you could swim in this thing. But the question is what I want to. Okay. Uh, uh in that case I'll be heading up to the captain then. Alright, you head up the stairs. Dum, 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 dum. Uh I will jump back. Who are we? I'm gonna jump back to task at this point. Uh task. Are you in bed or are you running around? I'm sitting in bed contemplating. Okay. Uh then I will jump back to Borky. Uh, work, you, you stand in place in the jail cell for a while, um, and eventually you see a man show up in the most ridiculous outfit you have ever seen in your entire life. The old, 
Wow, what are we looking at? We are looking yeah, at leopard print suit with the boots that curl at the ends and oh a my God. giant hat with ostrich feathers coming out of it. Oh this man God. has a, a perfectly like trimmed like beard, like it's short, but it's like perfectly trim, like like angular oh in shape. And he walks right up, he saunters, swaying his hips side to side, and he's got a chihuahua in the crook of his hand. Oh, oh my god. What a fucking badass. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I need to know, is this guy top heavy? What are we looking at build He's here? very lithe. He's very, very lithe. Uh, and a little bit short. And he just saunters right up to you. And he puts his hand, like every single time this man moves, it is so extra. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. I don't use that word very often. And he just swings his hand and he brings it to his brow and he looks you up and down. And he turns to the half orc guard who is just like giving him like a nod, like, yeah, yeah. And he goes, snaps his fingers. And you see these two brutish, a uh, human and an orc walk up and they hand this illustrious man the key and he <laughs> opens the jail cell and he goes, you will do for the top deck. Grab him. <gasps> and they grab you. <laughs> you Borky's dumbfounded by Borky, this. You can't defeat this man. There's no fucking way. <laughs> No, just like, but you, I'm sorry, sir. I'm waiting for the gentleman called Pitch. Oh, that would be me. What? <laughs> Clang! They close the door behind you. All the, all the, all the, like, all the music players you get the sense don't want to move. They're just like, this is probably the safest place to be right now. I, I I'm not gonna. I'm really seeing Ruby Rod right now from the Fifth Element. Unbelievable. <laughs> kind of with a little bit more um, musketeer look to him. Oh my lord, that's even better. Yeah. Um, and he just walks and saunters. The Chihuahua looks like emotionless, just thousand yards staring ahead. <laughs> this is just. It's just got his legs and feet just sticking down through the hand, like. <laughs> he's holding it like a like a like a rag doll. Like he's just holding it like it's an accessory. So what's the top deck there, Mr. Pitch? Borky looks to the left, the two guards hold dragging by his arms. They look back to you like, like and see... just raise a brow like hey man. They're just are you know, we all, we're not laughing together? We're not laughing together? The oh. top deck, and he places a finger right between um, your abs, just like oh. right there. He goes, the top yeah. deck is the top establishment of this fine vessel. We kill each other for blood sport. So like two men enter, one man leave? <laughs> you are as bright as the sun, my friend. <laughs> wow, this is a crazy day. <laughs> <laughs> yes i am sir yes i am well follow me <laughs> and he like waves his head and the feathers go back and forth and they begin to wave in the wind um at this point uh we'll jump back to panic there's a lot of jumping i'm sorry for those of you guys watching but no, don't worry it's like about a tv it. show uh panic at this point scarlet has led you through i want you to roll uh two stealth checks really quick for me with advantage uh, okay good because uh, you have someone who help, who's helping you. Good job. Boom, again. eight. Okay. And 20. And 20. Okay. Between the two, you manage to stealth through. There's one moment where you actually go into like barrels and you're like, oh, I remember this. Uh, back with your time with the whole still have it situation. Uh, <laughs> you are both in barrels and like you guys are both moving. She's got a small barrel. You got a bigger barrel. And eventually you, you make it onto the deck. And she goes, you can take off the barrel. Take off the barrel. Okay. Okay, I take out the barrel. You're really good at this. Thank you. You really think so? Yes, I do think so. I think you're very special. Her face just ignites like she's so <laughs> happy. Oh, and, Lord. And she puts up a finger, one second. And she goes through and she goes into what looks like a giant um, loop of rope, like very thick rope. And she just jumps into it. Like you ever see those tires at a children's playground, like the big, big tires the kids can play in? Is that only? Yeah. Is that okay? I thought that was only a Canadian thing for a second. I no, was like, that, no, that's everywhere. Okay, cool. She kind of like dives into it, like one of those, and you hear like moving things around. And she goes, ah, "Hold this!" And she hands you a hat. Okay. It's like a tricorn. She starts Ooh. digging through. I stole Mike's clothes, and she gave it gives you an outfit. I think they'll fit you. 
Uh, what do the clothes look like? They literally look like a Popeye the Sailor Man outfit. Suck it, Mike. Oh my god. The panic puts it on immediately. All right. <laughs> you, you, it's hard to get the wings in. And she actually comes around with a little bit of ropes. Like, um, I'm just going to tie those up real quick. Oh, yeah. Um, they'll, they'll disappear soon. How about, I mean, how long has it been since about I half drank an hour. Potion? About half an hour? Yeah. They'll, they'll disappear soon, so I don't think we need to worry too much. But you'll see them. That's true. Okay. Okay. Um, she's very careful. She goes, I'm glad you have wings too. I have wings too. And she like walks around you like you're like a like a ribbon thing. She's walking around and she ties them up. You have wings too? Yeah. And she like lifts up the back of her shirt. And you see two little tiny cherub bat wings. They're too small to be used, but they're very oh cute. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Uh, uh, through the through the the reading of the tiefling book can i decipher what kind of devil she is uh you get the sense that she is one second let me grab it oh, actually roll an intelligence with advantage because of the book oh uh, interesting okay. did you interesting. just interesting she's you, a oh! <laughs> did you just do a natural did you just do 20 a fault? oh okay let me grab her thing here with the, where are you, sweetie? Protect the Debbie child. Uh, you get the sense that she's related to a horned devil. Hmm. And they do have very large wings. Oh, well, ma, 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 ma. And she drops down her shirt real quick. She goes, okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. I, fo I, I follow along. I'm assuming I, I, I also wear the hat as well. Oh, yeah. It's, it's quite, <laughs> quite a good look for you. Um, uh, doesn't really match the rest of the outfit, but, uh, um, and as you- the sailor, man. He's the sailor, man. Give us, give us your best we'll blow me down right now. Hey, we'll blow me down. Pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty pretty good. good. I haven't watched Popeye in ages. Um, blow me down. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, as <laughs> you are being escorted by Scarlet, uh, eventually you see- too large an orc and a human currently escorting an orc you recognize with the most I don't even know how to describe him anymore. He's very extra and he's extremely extravagant. Uh, a very extravagant human man uh, currently <laughs> leading Borky sauntering his hips swaying side to side like, like runway walk. Like full on runway walk. Pa panic You're saying this guy is very fierce. <laughs> <laughs> panic looks at that guy and he's like I want that outfit. <laughs> Oh, also, hi, Borky. <laughs> uh, Scarlet, when she sees Pitch, she's kind of like, <sighs> "What's wrong?" I don't like him. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Am I Double sure? Check. <laughs> Why don't you like him? Because he's mean to me. He throws me out a lot. Oh, well. I'll make sure he doesn't do that. Okay. Um, come on, this way. And as she grabs your hand and moves, she stops all of a sudden as you hear boom, like this loud echoing sound. And all the all the um, all the sailors stop and look up. And you watch as one runs over to it. Looks like uh, similar to the spotlight uh, from the theater. You hear boom, this really low guttural noise. And the pirate runs over and grabs the light and he just hits it a couple times and he flips it up and all the pirates look and you see a giant sky whale. Like with giant wings. Oh shit. What? <laughs> Whoa. Does Borky see the Does Borky Yeah, see you sky see whale? it. And and in fact Pitch stops and was like, huh, look at that. Like, um uh, What? I thought those were supposed to be in the ocean. My mom always told me they could be in the sky. <laughs> I didn't realize we were that high up. There you go. That's really cr Oh. And... I got nothing else to say. Uh, Tass, you also hear the sound, and, like, all the kids, like, wake up, and they're kind of scared. Uh, and Greco's, at this point, you're on a different part of the deck, uh, mm -hmm. but you also see it as well. It's very large. It's kind of, like, white and a bit of a tinge of blue, obviously, for camouflage. And it is just going about its business, just kind of coasting over the ship. I just want to see, like, Tass, like, poke his head out the window and see it. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a port window. You can't poke your head out. <laughs> Tash like, looks up. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but it looks like it would be an amazing hunt. 
And the little girl who has a squid looks up to you and goes, It's a Sky Guardian. What do they do? What do they guard? <laughs> they guard the sky. Hmm. My that, diabetes. That, that, I, you know what? I, I kind of walked into that one, though, unfortunately. They say that Uspa made them. That they're celestials that well, aren't celestials anymore. And they make sure the wind goes where it's supposed to. <gasps> Moni? Mm -hmm. Did you just make... A Link's Awakening reference? No, I've never played that one, actually. Oh! See, but, but dude, I was just like, get the fuck out of here. Wait, is it actually? I, I'll yes, cut this. Is yes! it actually a thing? The oh, god fish. damn it. Fish. I accidentally did a Legend of Zelda. made the wind fish. Shoot. You made the wind fish. Crap, well. No, dude, no, no, don't be upset. This is awesome. That okay. is awesome. You need Nintendo's to. You need to play. Show up to my house with a bat and is gonna. <laughs> no, How dare play you? The... you need to. Pl someone play Ballad of the Windfish, please. Oh, oh. fucking awesome! Uh, but it it flies off just with these big wings, and you actually see some other like smaller forms following it. They look kind of like sky manta rays as well, like kind oh. of following along it. It's a very neat oh. sight to see, and a lot of the, all the pirates are like, "Hey, look at that! Hey." Take that aside for Soraz. Tess looks over to the girl. How rare do these things appear? Not many left. But here is new. No one's hunted them yet. So they're safe. The back of Tess's head. Until today! <laughs> hey, Moni, I, I, hate to, I hate to burst the bubble, but I, I posted a picture. <laughs> I swear to God. Zito, do you hunter? Oh, it's do cute. Hunters like mark it. that? It doesn't look like that. It doesn't have it, the fins or the wings. It has like a set of uh, six wings on the side where the fins. Oh, would be. so it's like uh, okay. un, un, it's like unromanticized angels depictions. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Anyway, cool. Yeah, look on yeah. Its face. It looks like it's about to tell a really bad pun. <laughs> 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 I got a whale of a tail. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, Scarlet, uh, seeing that, she actually kind of grabs your hand a little bit. Not like... Oh, okay, no, well, Task, well, Task will allow her. He's not going to, like, uh, you know... S Scarlet in panic, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, no, Sc Scarlet, seeing the whale fly over, she just grabs your hand. It'll be okay. I'm not scared. Of course. Well, while everybody's looking at this whale, I think we should go grab my guitar. Yes, 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 yes. She she grabs you and she leads you. And sure enough, all the pirates are super distracted by this as the whale makes it over a few clouds. It's dark, but that one pirate's got the spotlight on it. Like, he's doing a good job. Good on you, Clarence. Um, <laughs> what, what, what color is the whale, actually? I, I, I said it was kind of like a white and a blue. Um, it, it was most... Call me Ishmael! <laughs> mostly mostly a white like and it kind of like a pasty fleshy white um mm. but uh it's almost like a real whale like except for <clears throat> more lighter tones to camouflage mm, okay um and as it goes scarlet does lead you and she leads you right up to the door uh, and she points you and says, here okay uh is i uh, i i try it i try the door <laughs> And she goes, wait, 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 wait. And she gives you the motion to go down. Okay, I, I, I follow her instructions. I'm listening to this child. Give she, me. She climbs up on your back. Like, gets on top of you and just like, and then stands up and peers into the porthole of the door. Okay, 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 we're good. And she gets down. Give a sense she does this a lot. <laughs> like, this is her thing. This kid. Right little sneak she is. Okay, so I, I try the door again. It opens. You get a whiff of, of um, smoke and other smells, alcohol, Ooh. rum. It smells like dad's room. This is my dad's room. Kind oh, of. It but smells not like your my room. dad's room. What was our dad like? Your grandpa? Mm. Ooh, buddy. He's a devil too, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, look, I think I think we should talk about this when we're in a little more safe conditions, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> she closes the door. 
I immediately look for my guitar. It is right there on the table. You, you don't even have to look that far. It is right there. And there's a book on top of it as well. It's close. Okay. I, I take the book off, but I keep it in my hand and I, I pluck up my guitar. Has anything happened to it? Uh, roll an investigation check. And I will roll if anything happened to it. Oh. Uh, uh, six. <laughs> six. You look at it up and down. It's fine. They might have messed with the tuning on it, though. You look, notice some of the pegs have been kind of swiveled. Is it okay? Yes, it's fine. Just uh, trying to figure out how I can keep this hidden. Do you know of anywhere I can store this? You could store it in my room. Won't they find it there? Uh, I, I don't think Captain Blade goes through our stuff. Okay. I'll keep it with you. Okay. Um, I, I can't wait. I, I told everyone that you were going to come and they didn't believe me, but you're here. You're actually here. Um, uh, and she walks over to the side room, uh, and Task, you hear <laughs> as the door opens and you see a tiefling girl poke her head in. And most of the kids are like sleeping at this point. It's kind of late at night. Is the um, little girl, the little half elf, still there? It's like I mean, yeah, I kind of bet. Yes, she's awake and she actually sees Scarlet come and she goes, "Hi, Scarlet." And she waves back. She goes, "My dad's here." <laughs> and she kind of tilts her head and she grabs your hand. Uh, panic, I, I, she I, starts I, pulling you like a kid. I, so, an excited I, kid. I, I walk with her. I, I walk with her. Task into the room. folds his arms and arches a brow. Your dad. I told you he'd come. I told you. And like she walks up, the other kids are kind of like, ugh, like waking up. <laughs> Panic looks so right at Task and just kind of like awkward grin shrugs his shoulders. Yes. Would Scarlet not know who Task is? Scarlet hasn't met her yet. Oh, Scarlet hasn't met. You know, and, and Task, Task shrugs. Okay. It's a, uh, it, Task just shrugs and goes, I'm eight years old. <laughs> That's so precious. I know. <laughs> As Task is biting the bottom of his lip. And and Panic Panic uh shows Panic um shows Task his guitar. He's like, I, I got this. Does he have the book with him? I do yeah. have the book with me. Uh Task points at the book and makes like a motion like with his fingers to like open it. Panic sort of raises a brow if he could and uh, uh he, he's gonna strap on his guitar for the time being and then okay, open the book okay. well 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 mr dad what does that book say captain said it was a big interesting book that we should read <laughs> panic uh, i swear to god read the fucking book <laughs> I don't, know how, I don't know how you would be able to read it. It's it's in infernal. I, I know. That's why I want you to read it, Mr. Devil Man. Please. I read it. <laughs> you flip Devil it open. Man. It is ancient infernal. Would I still understand? You barely understand it. You actually, you're trying. It is like super. There's lots of text. Would comprehend languages help? I don't think it works for this. No. Mm. I'd have to look it up one second. Because I don't think it can make you decipher for the, code. For the duration, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language you hear. You also understand any written language that you see, but you must Secret be Secret messages. Oh, sh okay, yeah, no, it doesn't. It won't work for this then. Sorry. Uh, task do I do I gleam? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, I go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to task to like I, I want task to, to play this out so Panic can also hear this as well. And Tash looks over to the little elf uh to the uh half elf girl. Hi. That th that devil man, he might be her dad, but I actually work with him in the play. The the big pirate man said that he would actually be able he said that we were going to perform for giants and once he we do that, he'll take us home. I, I think so. At least that's what the captain told me. Mm-hmm. But the captain says a lot of things. Does the Does captain lie? lie? Oh, damn. High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you do that in character or out of out character? Out of character. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, 
through our magic, we make a mental high five. Yeah, she, yeah. She kind of like scrunches up, like she doesn't want to say anything bad about Captain Blakefoot, but he does. So she's kind of like, sometimes, but only usually to the adults. He doesn't lie to us. I don't know. That's good. Task looks over to panic. I if mean, he doesn't, if he doesn't lie to us kids, then that means he must be a good person and be honorable. Scarlet steps forward and she goes. Well, you told me my dad was never going to come back, so I think he is a liar, because he's here now. This is quite the pickle. Well, mm. Scarlet's dad... Oh, by the way, Scarlet, uh, Captain apparently thinks my name is Bladefoot Jr. Oh, that's the... a nice name. Well, yes. I, I, I guess since dad gave me that name, it would be cool, but... I was also told in my stage name that my name was Task. I like Captain Bladefoot Jr. more. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So, Mr. Scarlet's dad, so. then what's the plan? Hmm. Indeed, huh? what is the plan? Um, I... Half of me wants to play this out see what happens uh mr mr scarlet's dad yes. mr dad hey, yes played for you, junior you got you, you it seems you have a really cool thing is it possible that they possibly have my really cool thing stashed away somewhere that i could play with for the time being let me go and check thank you scarlet puts his finger to his mouth just like thank you uh-huh she looks up at you uh, do they keep, um, do they keep sharp, pointy objects anywhere made of metal? She gives you this look, like she does this suave, like kind of rests her hand on her, her hand or he rests her head, her chin on her hand while leaning up on a, like a crate. And she goes, snaps her fingers and goes, I know exactly where that is. Could you take me there, please? Okay. But you have to tell me about how you and Mom met first. Yes, Mr. Dad, tell us, how did Mom and Dad meet? Mm. <laughs> Biggest shit-eating grin. Okay. I, I'd like to hear this backstory you conjured. <laughs> <laughs> you say that out loud? No. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, I'm going to sit the children down. Okay. And I'm going to regale them of the tale. And I'm I'm taking this from the Eastern Songbook. I'm sure there was a love song in there. Uh. uh man, I, I, uh, fuck. I'd have to, <laughs> I'd have to look one up. Shit. So, I, I just, I, 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 I strum the guitar very quietly, mind you, and I I sing them a, a love song of how me and this mystery woman met. Right? How did you meet? Now I've huh? Had the time of my life. What What does that entail? Like, I, I'm tell I'm telling a story through song. Okay, but what does this the story itself entail? Like, you guys um, met on a beach. You met. We, um. Do you need softballs? Uh, uh, want, the, want, want me to play the How I Met Your Mother intro? There, uh, <laughs> a man who was wandering, uh, looking for all the finest things in life, found it uh, while sailing. Okay. And I then, then he, he met a woman, and then he discovered that the finest thing in life is the love of another person. Hooray. <laughs> Great. You really put me on the fucking spot here. <laughs> Throw a dragon in it! <laughs> Are the kids? And then I saw her face. The kids, oh. <laughs> I'm a believer. Um, uh, the kids all like it, except for, I mean, Task, I don't even know what you care about. And Sky is like, ugh. Um, Scarlet is just star-eyed the entire time. Like, she is, like, just enthralled. And then you hear a commotion on the, in the room next to you. Oh, shit. Kids! Um, 
what you doing? And you hear clunk, clunk, clunk. And I fucking hide. <laughs> okay. Scarlet actually throws open her trunk and she points. She goes, go inside, go inside, go inside. I fall, I jump right in. All right, you dive right in and she clunk slams it on your leg real quick as you're getting <laughs> in. <laughs> and just like puts you back in and she points to you, Task, and points to the bed and she jumps into the bed as well. Yeah, ta task like lays on the bed and then like jolts up when the door opens. I clunk. <laughs> Kids, are you sleeping in here? And then you what? hear the tiny elf girl go, "Yes." What? What hap? What happened? I uh, could have sworn I heard some guitar playing in here, and the guitar on my desk be missing. What? Scarlet. And she looks up. I, I don't have anything. <clears throat> And I'm gonna roll counter rolls for those two NPCs. Mm. Real quick. Oh no! Jeez, mm. well, also, before this happens, is the trunk locked? Uh, you can't breathe. No. Guy, all right then. You kids be good. <laughs> Thank Dad. you. Good night. And he walks over and he gives a kiss to the knoll who just like snaps at him. He goes, "Hey." <laughs> Good child. And he walks over to the little elf girl, gives her a little Who's kiss. Who's a good boy? What? <laughs> uh, and then he goes up to you, Task. He goes, welcome to the family. Thanks, Junior. Dad. He gives you a kiss on the cheek, a fatherly kiss on the cheek. Thanks, Dad. He walks over to the orc, the half-orc, gives him a kiss, <laughs> then walks over to the teenager, just puts up his hand. He goes, hey, all right, then. And just walks away. <laughs> And he, uh, he leaves. Through, through the through the uh the keyhole in the trunk, panic is cringing. Uh, as he as he leaves, you see Tass like grab the place where he like was kissed on the cheek and like claws at it like ah. <laughs> All right, kitties. Sweet dreams. See you in the morn. Good night. And at this point, um, Greco's, are you making your way to the captain's quarters? Yep. Alrighty, you make your way up to the captain's quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a large door in front of you. Uh, I'll give it a knock. I come in, but be quiet. My kids are sleeping. Or oh, sorry, Captain. Oh, if it isn't Fletch, where are you with your report? You hours late. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We got stuck at the we, we got stuck at the main reactor. Cam, it's it's glowing red. Aye, that can't be. It has a heart of Nerezman in it. it should last forever. I mean, I could show you tomorrow morning, but... I when showed I, when I... Oh, do you think that's a good idea? She, she seemed pretty upset. Where have you been for the past five years, boy? She's always upset. Oh, I guess that's true. Now, I'm... about the groundwork, and he sits down and he starts, like, filling up, packing a, uh, a pipe. Now, about the grand uh, groundwork. Yes, Captain. You lost the chest... Aye. And what about the five men we got stationed still in that mansion place? I think they made it through. Does Panic hear this? Yeah, you guys are hearing this in the room. Oh, shit. I might have fucked a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> you both might have. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, that'd be good. As long as we still have some ground reconnaissance, we can make our way back and dump these losers once we get done with them. If you don't mind me asking, Captain, I... what, I... what is your plan? Yeah, daft idiot. And he like splams the table and he's like, oh, wait, children, 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 quiets down. Have you forgot everything? Well, that big green boy did give me a good wallop on the head. Aye, you might have deserved it, too. I heard from the other pirates you were gallivanting about the romantion. Well, I was just trying to do my job, Captain. He gives you this, like, uh-huh sort of look. <laughs> All right, let me pull down. He pulls down, like, this projector thing, and he pulls it down. <laughs> let me give you a recap real quick here. All right, thank so you, So we's, we's got our base. Talon's rest. Aye. 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 So we're going to take all our gold and all our treasure. Aye. Aye. 
Now, we be coming back from a good hole. Aye? Aye. And what's sitting on the peak of our hideout but a storm giant? Aye. Aye. And not just any storm giant. He begins to pace around. Tink. Tink. But a rune collar. A vestige for the god of the sky and sea. Now I'd kill the beast. But that could set forth a curse on us. And we'd never fly again. Ye understand this. I... Of course, Captain. Or... Of course, Captain. I... <laughs> Let's break away from the uh, eyes. <laughs> Let's differentiate a little bit, gentlemen. No, I only. <laughs> Luckily, your gracious captain, he starts taking a puff of his pipe, was able to reason with the beast. Strangely enough, it had a weird request. That's true, you weren't there for that. He wanted a show. Terrifying at first, until he explained that he wanted a show on a stage. He had heard about him from some human he knew. Said it was something real important to him. Now, you know, and you are, no one who can sing worth a damn. So, what better way to add to our legends than steal an opera company? Aye, we could ask them, but where's the fun in that? Oi, Cam, you never let us run before. I never will. So now we've got the opera crew. And if you can get through your little bird brain what comes next, you know what comes next. I? I can. Now, we do have still have our ground reconnaissance. So if anything goes awry, maybe we have a backup plan. But for now, we make sure those opera actors sit nice and comfy. And we make our way home. Oh, Captain. Would you like some rum? Captain, that would be lovely. Ah, he all right, then. He pulls up shot glasses. <laughs> and he gives you a shot of rum. I'll take it. Now get out of here. All right, Captain. See you in the morn. And he sits down. I'll take my leave. Okay. Um, do you want to take a quick bite? Do you want to take a quick bio break here? Actually. Yeah, we'll take a pause here. This is a good place to take a pause. One second. <gasps> for the, for the record, I do want to try and find the kitchen and steal that sweet roll. Okay. We'll get to that in a minute. Right. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't overshoot that. <laughs> Dad. Dad. Captain. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. I I was trying so hard not to say that out loud. <laughs> there you go. I am the outlet for which your thoughts spill forth. <sighs> God damn it, Todd. <laughs> God damn it, Todd Howard. Curse Todd, you. I don't want to buy your game a sixth time. <laughs> buy Skyrim. Okay, here's sixty dollars. Great. A year later, <laughs> buy it again. <laughs> you okay, heard just don't hurt four. me. Buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of Connect Four? Now, buy four. <laughs> I still have, I know an open, I know an open game where you can run around and live a fantasy adventure. Wait a second, Todd Howard, is that you? <laughs> Runs away. I still love the the one where they superimpose Todd Howard's well, head. Well, I'm then. back, I'm back with a legit 10,000 bip of I, I, Captain Howard. <laughs> <laughs> legit, 10, one, 10,000 bits, dude, holy shit. Thank you so much. And Probate also made a comment earlier. He's like, eyes only. No items, final destination. <laughs> oh, my God. But thank you so much, LeJake, for the 10,000 bit drop. Aye, aye, Captain LeJake. My goodness. This is, uh, this, guys, we got a, I really want to talk real fast to you guys because I'm looking at the chat and I realize what you guys were discussing. I feel that I'm not living until such time as I can play Morrowind on my microwave. <laughs> I feel like every every moment without an unmodded version of Mor an unmodded version of Skyrim. Sorry. Taka, you're thinking so small. Why not on a graphics calculator? That is a better <laughs> idea. 
But remember, they have to charge for mods on them. Mm. Bufasa Monkey, fifteen hundred bits. Here's fifteen hundred bits for hitting fifteen hundred viewers earlier. And we are at we are an I only stream. <laughs> I. 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 By the way, Nadine, you're doing great bouncing around, by the way. Oh. Like, fantastic. Probate, 5,000 bits do not break Scarlet's heart, Snake. Damn, it's a 5,000 bit drop. Uh, an appeal to your 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 common senses. Aye. Do you... Aye. <laughs> Snake, are you there? He went, he, he went he to went. get snacks or something, I think. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, you sneeze? are? Let it out. Just let it, let it out. Sneeze? Let it out. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. that's the not good. That is... I had to worst. set up and everything. Goldrath TV, oh, thank you so sorry. much for the $5 sub. Oh, uh, this is... Hmm? Oh, I was going to mention, speaking of sneezing, everyone at work is getting sick, so I'm terrified out the butt right now. Oh, oh excellent. <laughs> I, I, rode the, I rode the Sky Train earlier, and I went... And I heard someone... Someone was happening, and I went... <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 My hands are so dry from hand sanitizer because I'm so paranoid. I'm like, no. Are you the Takahata 101? Let me touch your You know what? You know what makes you feel better? A hot breath on the neck. <laughs> also, also, my friends from Japan are also starting to get sick, which is very scary for me. Yay! Any, have fun. Any plane trip that like takes you to another country, it's like if you don't get sick, then you're you're good. You're you're like some sort of hyperhuman who can't this is why destroy. I, in, in, anytime I do any kind of like cross country stuff like that, I take cold effects. Like when oh, I went yeah. to when I went to New Zealand, I'm like cold effects. Why? I'm shifting environments. And temperance. Oh, dude, just like fucking entirely. Just, just just stock up on nothing but vitamin D and airborne. Oh, um, dude, I was guzzling air. The worst thing is like that. It, it, to get through that flight, they gave me a lot of free whiskey. I was like, ah, it's kind of a bad idea. <laughs> Let's try and balance this. Oh. Enough whiskey to get me through the flight and the anxiety, and enough vitamin C to prevent against any kind of recycled air after 18 hours on a flight. Let's find what? the magical... The, the, the magical word could be scurvy for that, though. Ooh, you talking about... Hey, okay, but... That's fair. Just like, also all I know... All I know, Nadine, is I was not expecting pitch. What is this Ruby Rod character? Unbelievable! <laughs> <laughs> My name oh. is a pimp named... named Slickback. Pitch. He's like, you literally took Ruby Rod and a pimp named Slipback. You made like, all right, that's the fighting guy. I'm like, all right, Nadine, I'm proud of you. Like a tribe called Quest, you say the whole thing. <laughs> hey, hey, Nadine, quick question. Mm-hmm. Was, was, I, was I able to see uh, the captain's chest at all in his room? The or... one that they, the, the portal one? Yeah. Yeah, I was shoved into the corner. Okay. Wallace Bailey, thank you for the $5 sub. Oh, Bernie Sanders as well. Sorry, I was missing those stuff. We're still There's missing Snake. Nope. Uh, Gorgoth TV. Also, by the way, we're number one on Twitch for D&D right now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> there's, there's Snake. There he is. Ah, you're back for the compliment. Hooray. Oh, my God. N All right. case just worked quick because she just drew fucking Scarlet. Mm. Oh. oh, shit. It's good, oh, too. Nice. Oh, snap. All right, you guys ready oh, to go? Oh, my Lord, Nutcase, you absolute fiend. Oh, yeah. she's cute. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, and go for it, Nadine. All right. Uh, as you're leaving, uh, Greckles, you turn and you see uh, another small pirate, uh, currently a halfling, is currently knocking on the window of the room next to uh, Captain Bladefoot's uh, abode. He's like, and Task and Panic, you guys hear, um, hear it as well, like on the window, and immediately Sky uh just grabs the window and just pulls it open and goes shh hey man shh. and the pirate kind of leans he goes i figured i'd let you know there's a fight in the top deck tonight is this is this this pointing towards me no 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 he's talking to the like the person in the in the window okay a fight like tass says like, a fight i yeah we think a fight and uh, Hey, Fletch! He waves outside. At this point, he's turned to notice you. Fletch, come here, come here, come here, Fletch. What, what, what? There's a fight tonight at the top deck. Really? Is this... What will the captain say? Ah, the captain don't care. Come on, Sky, you in? 
And Sky just goes, yeah, man. He like pulls himself through the portal window and lands on the ground. Oh, Task is jumping after him. Hey, where are you going, Pee Wee? I'm going to see the fight. Ugh. He just starts walking and flips his hair again. Didn't hear uh... no. Didn't hear no, you sassy bitch. Go out. <laughs> no, wait, no, no, before before Task leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock, knock gently on the chest to get his attention. Task, ta- okay, one second, one quick second. Runs to the chest, opens it up. What am I supposed to do? Find our shit and just stay quiet. They're going to know something's up. Not a single one of us is in the cell. Well, uh, uh no, <laughs> dude, no, 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 hold on. Well, Grickles is playing... Uh, Greco's is playing hide and seek. I'm apparently a child. That just left you two. Yeah, I saw Borky being led by some awesome looking dude. Ugh, and, uh, Scarlet just like, ugh, just hates him. <laughs> What's, who's, who's, uh, Task? Okay, hold on. Who's gonna fight? Uh, the halfling goes, I, it's between Raver and some big bloke from the opera company. Fresh blood, fresh blood. And Sky's like, hell yeah, fresh blood. Sounds like Borky. Yeah, it does. So you're the only one, pretty much, that is going to be missing out of everyone. I guess I'll just go back to my cell. All right. Try uh, try to sneak back in. We'll keep the guitar in here. Okay. Um. Really? I I just now realized that I I put on a shirt with a bolt stuck in my chest. Oh yeah, you did. Well, no, it snapped. It snapped to the side, so it's. it's... Oh, so I just got a little yeah. bit of. You got okay. a little bump. It looks like a little bump on you. All right, so Task will follow after through the porthole. All right. All right. Sky, you don't want to. Can... Or no, oh Scarlet, can you keep... take me back to my cell? You don't want to see the fight. I, I, I can't. I'm not supposed to be out of the cell. You if, have a Popeye they... outfit. If they. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you are. You're in a you're in a disguise. You're fine. Well, they're going to know something is up eventually. Yeah, but the ship's huge. They won't find you. Okay. Well, I. Everybody's going to be all right. All right. Um. Uh, how baggy are these clothes of mine? Uh, they're okay. They're not Tri- like, uh, like you're not like tripping up in them or anything. Like they actually fit quite nicely. <clears throat> Not baggy enough to hide a guitar. Mm, let me roll for that. Y- yeah, you can fit your guitar behind you. Ooh. The All right, end I've... will stick out, though. Uh, but Scarlet walks over to the knoll, and she, like, just, like, a person reaching for, like, a crab in, like, a tank, like, just carefully goes to reach for the teddy bear. And the null just <laughs> like snarls at her, just grabs the teddy bear. It's like, oh my god. And then walks over and just shoves the head of the teddy bear over the end of the guitar. There. You're so, res- you're so resourceful. Oh, gosh, thank you. Now, the next time you see me, I might not look like this, but you will know it's me. Okay. Okay. Um,. And my name is Panic. Panic. That's a good name. And she hugs you. Thank you. Don't be too long this time, okay? I'll try. Good night. All right. Good night. And I'll reach down and ruffle her hair a little. <laughs> uh, so am, am I uh am I following this kid yeah, along with the you're, you're you're following the kid and the athlete. You guys are kind of sneaking around, but most of the people on the deck don't care. Most of them are actually gone at this point. So right. we um, so so Task and I are together technically. Yeah, you guys are all okay. the three of you are together now, except for yeah. Borky. I, I follow behind you too. You no. guys don't. You guys look pretty conspicuous. Uh. It's honestly like uh, the kid, like Sky, probably looks the most conspicuous being a younger person, but they're they're doing a good job kind of staying out of attention's way. All right, I just hope you're ready to see the fight tonight. Oh, golly gee, I can't wait. 
So who y'all putting your bets on? I hear his voice and I turn to the I turn to him. I don't know, do, do you recognize my voice? <laughs> Would I? Roll I'm, inside check. I'm As throwing I'm I'm throwing I'm throwing voice with roll, mimicry roll, on purpose. Roll a, roll a deception, Greckles, and task roll uh -huh. investigation. Well, that, it, that or insight, 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 sorry, insight. Yeah, that, that, that's oh. why I like. That's why I kind of hung that in a question mark. Like Monty, would I? Insight I investigation. I n. So hard. We, we both passed. You yeah. both passed. Yay! You guys know it's crackle. Yay! Well, I, I was like fail. But uh, well, oh, all right. So uh, panic is going to look down at him, and he's like, "Uh, well, don't we? Don't fret now, but uh." Long time, uh, don't don't panic. And he's gonna point to himself. But long time ago, my dad gave me a task. He's gonna point to task to shoot some greckles. <laughs> he's gonna. What play the hell are you greckles. going on about? I used to shoot greckles with my bow. Well, I'm sure you did, son. Thanks. I'm really good at it. God, would you guys shut up? You're so lame. Why don't you shut up? Stop being a little, little moody bitch. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sky's mouth just shoots open, and the half of those is, I mean, it kind of are. <laughs> and he's just like... Ta task looks, so task and turns and looks at him. You seem like you got a lot of chip on your shoulder, so I'll just put some science on you. I've had a really bad life up till now, and I'm not going to have you screw it up because you're a mopey little piece of shit. Cool? Cool. Oh. Well, then... Let's talk Damn that emo that. out of that fucking kid. Let's go. Damn it. Right. Big dog on Damn. campus, you little shit. Dab on the haters. <laughs> oh, you got it. He just doesn't say anything and he keeps walking. Uh, Borky, I'm going to jump back to you now. You are being led down a set of stairs and then another set of stairs and then another. Led down. Down. Yep. Mm. You're going. Well, you're going we, to thought, the top thought, deck. Yeah. I thought we were going to the top deck. Why? How are we supposed to go to the top deck, guys? If we keep going down, <laughs> or is there like a, or is there like a giant stairway at the bottom that goes all the way to the top? <laughs> you're as sharp as a knife, my friend. Oh yeah, thank you very much. People mm. say that. And you begin to hear. <laughs> you begin to hear rah, 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 chanting. Ooh. Um, and as you make your way down, uh, you begin to see a whole gaggle of pirates, like a ton of them. Um, and they're in this giant, like, what's it called in like a rock concert where everyone's in the middle and there's one guy in the middle and they're dancing. Mosh, mosh pit. Yeah, okay, a mosh pit. It's like a giant mosh pit of pirates of all different races, of all different ages. They're currently shouting and screaming. And you hear the sound of, of fist fighting in the middle. Just like, -ah, 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 like being punched. Um, and you are led in. And I will show you the map real quick. Yay. Oh, boy. There is a, a no. Please. Do, 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 Paint do, do, a picture do. with your words, sister. It is what I just said. Uh, it is oh, a oh, crude storage. Um obviously a deck that was used for like a ballroom or something like it, you could tell based on what remains it used to be something of splendor like it used to be some sort of like either like almost a ballroom or some sort of weapon storage it, it's so between the lines of ruin that you can't quite tell but currently you're seeing two halflings decking it out like full force oh. until one just punches the other and you see teeth scatter and fly across the ground and he spins twice and thunk falls on the ground and the audience erupts into cheers and oh. everyone makes a line over at a desk and you see a small gnome currently like dishing out bets and whatnot including like <laughs> he's dishing out bets and then one thing he gets is like a cat and he's like i don't know he just hands it off and this one pirate grabs it's like <laughs> yeah i won and walks away you won the cat <laughs> um and then you watch as your friend their pitch runs and leaps like ballerina leaps like full-on strides up on top of the table and at this point uh does he have a by the way does he have a cane yes he does actually he does have a cane with a flamingo actually, top to it the cane, the cane and the fucking dog yeah 
The dog doesn't even move. Like, its ears flap a little bit in the breeze. I'm starting to believe it's taxidermy at this point. <laughs> um, but you see uh, he leaps on top of the table. At this point, uh, the rest of you guys manage to climb on top of some crates, I'll say, so you can get a good eye view. Um, and you all scramble on top. You guys see where your characters are, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Pitch climbs on top and he goes, everybody. And everyone just goes silent and turns and listens to him. Oh, thank you. That's delightful. Everyone, we have some uh, fresh blood tonight. And everyone goes, woo, yeah. Like just starts cheering, laughing. Bor bor borky, shifty eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my fellow companions, invite our guests inside. And you are just, like, shoved. These two guards bring you up. The crowd parts. And you are just shoved, Borky, into the center oh. of this ring. There's some blood. There's lots of teeth. It's kind of gross. It, but per, uh, uh, just a quick investigation. What, what what am I seeing here? Like, what 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 is there any uh, any art items on the ground or anything? Uh, no. There's, like teeth and oh, okay. um some scraps of cloth like a shirt from a guy probably got his shirt torn off or he tore off his shirt pre-battle oh. borky's wearing his fancy outfit by the way it's my fancy outfit is i can't get blood on this i get in trouble if i got blood on it <laughs> <laughs> uh pitch do you say that out loud like so people no, can actually hear it, it. Him, saying it to himself oh okay <laughs> blood on this outfit okay then. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear and my friends, what would be a fresh blood fight without our most esteemed champion, Raver? And you watch as the crowd parts and this massive knoll strides out. Oh, yeah. If you don't know what a knoll is, it's a giant hyena person. He is your height. And he's missing half of his face, basically. Whoa, it looks like it's been whoa. like, it looks like it's been chewed off. His one eye is like pasty, ghostly white. And uh, he is just covered in scars. He's got long claws on him too. Uh, and these, like his front canine teeth, you see one, the other one looks like it's been snapped out. And he is just pacing back and forth like an animal. He's got chains on his wrists that are just dragging kind of like, there's a few like three chain links behind him. And his tail yeah. is just swishing side to side. He's like pacing back and forth like a lion in front of a set of bars, just back and forth eyeing you up. And the crowd wow. is like cheering and cheering and cheering. Borky holds up his hand. Yes. May I say a few words before the bout? Sure. Pirates, esteemed scum of the sky. And they'll cheer up at you. My name is Bulky Deolky. Oh, oh. And I am the Alavastian heavyweight champion. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> Everyone just kind of like, what is that? Panic, panic, uh, panic goes, woo, yeah. <laughs> ah, and then does everyone else react when panic does it awkwardly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like one guy like looks and goes, oh, okay, starts clapping, and everyone goes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like they start cheering. No. Um, and the hyena, the hyena, well, the knoll, he kind of turns and stares at you. And I've um, suplexed, I have, su I suplexed a ten foot magical hag, breaking her neck. Ooh. I, Ooh. I, yeah, so, and it's her true. head. <laughs> And her head will look great next to yours. Oh! oh! Panic starts you know. shouting, this is awesome! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Borky just got to kind of... Inspiration! Kinda... Inspiration? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, you can give Borky inspiration for that. I get, so and I get plus four to, I get plus four to hit then. You get a plus six to hit, yes. Um, and I want you to roll initiative. So for the sake of this fight, so it doesn't last forever, you and this knoll actually rolled the same amount of health. So I'm knocking you guys down to 25 health each. Okay. So you're down to 25 health, just so this doesn't last forever. 
And you want me to roll an initiative? And I want you to roll initiative, and I'm going to grab Bye. some fight music. Oh, do you, do you got something not, like a nice swarthy pirate song? I don't. Do some, I tried do some, to find something, but... Some dropkick Murphys, maybe? <laughs> oh, yeah. If we weren't was... going to get VOD muted, I'd say that, too. I wish. True. Here we go. Dropkick Murphy would be perfect. All right. Let's see. What was your initiative? Five. Five. Oh. Okay. So that was five for Borky. Let's give my. So what did you say? He had he had a chain on his tail. No, he had chains. Like he doesn't have long chains on his. He has like like uh, manacles, and it implies that he was a prisoner at some point. Uh, and let me roll for him. Where's his initiative? Uh, the ch uh, the Red Storm Crow suggests rules of nature from the esteemed soundtrack of uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. He definitely beats you out <laughs> for the oh, initiative. Getting that 20? No, he got an 18. Ooh. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Alrighty. So I'm just going to grab the turn order here. Though this is probably going to get quite confusing very quickly. Uh, and I will add you, Panic, as well to the turn order. Because you are about the only person in this room who can kind of help from a distance. Yep, for sure can. That's why yeah. I was doing my range indicators. All right. So this Noel is going to get off a hit on you, I think, if he rolls well. He this starts and he swings his fist at you. Uh, I have his stats here. Let me grab his stats. Sorry. I have so many things out right now. All right. Does a 15 hit you? No. He swings wide and you manage to duck out of the way and he swings his neck back and he's going to attempt to bite you. Oh, shit. Does a 16 hit you? No. He snaps and you like Matrix style lean back and manage to bring yourself back up to your feet. It is now your turn. Borky, I guess. Um, oh, my Lord. Okay. Uh, Borky goes into a rage immediately. All right. You go into a rage. All right, so now I'm gonna quickly ask you, Nadine. Uh, so you're just gonna count as unarmed strikes, or and and uh, you suplexes have count as the suplexes count as unarmed strikes as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Oh, robot. Porky. Oh shoot! Really? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little robotic, bit. A little bit. Can you? Yeah, just just a little you... robot, more of a cyborg, really. You're yeah. roboting you out to snake. Yeah, a little bit. It's just Discord being funny. But hey, all right, can you... hey, Monty, really quick before this gets too crazy, I <laughs> actually want to go around and try to pickpocket <laughs> either like a nice weapon or maybe some unattended gold. Question, and uh -huh. I'm I will only I, I will never ask this multiple times. Would I have advantage because everyone is distracted no. by the fight? Okay. No. And okay. I kind of wanted to do something as well. I wanted to see if there was like any ball bearings or something small and round I could just like marble into the stage. Okay, I'll put you guys on the turn order. <laughs> okay. 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 So um, uh, Bor so like he went. So Borky Matrix leaned back. Yeah, and you're back Borky, up on your feet now. Borky, uh, pretty much. Borky grabs him and puts him in a headlock. All right, roll a grapple check. Roll an athletics check. Athletics check. Let's go for it. 18. Let's see if he gets out. 13, you grab him in a headlock. He is now grappled. Whoa. That takes your action. Oh, that's my action? Yeah. Oh. Going okay, into so I got him in a, I, so I, I have him in a grapple then. Okay. Yeah. Doing grapples okay, is really complicated in D&D. &D. Yeah. Okay, it's a okay. little less complicated in 5e, though, which is nice. Does this give me an advantage now? Uh, I'll improvise something. Okay, Borky got him in a headlock. Thing. Yeah, you got him in a headlock. And he's snarling and he's snapping and biting at you. Like, he's trying to bite your chest. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'm done for the turn then? Yeah. You are raging still. Yeah. Uh, people would argue, since you did not attack, you would lose your rage. But this is combat and you're obviously getting him in a physical position. So I'm going to argue and say you do not lose your rage. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. All right, Panic is going to lean up on his box. He's oh, going to... What? Sorry, someone... sorry, sorry, one second. Uh... Oh, shit. Never mind, sorry, someone else mentioned something. Never mind, ignore me. Sorry, I took away from the... Yeah, don't don't look at chat if you're looking no, at chat. Sorry. Leave no, it to I'm the mods. Sorry. All right. Okay, so Panic's going to lean up, and he's going to cup his hands over his mouth, and he's, and he's going <laughs> to... Well, what's the name of the hyena again? Raver. 
You say, Oh, Raver, you're gonna look better when he rips the other half off. Ooh. Vicious mockery. Vicious mockery, alright. Four. A max damage. <laughs> nice. Let's see here. That's a. DC Const oh, it's a, it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. He got 16 okay. plus zero, so he passed. I believe he still takes the damage, he just doesn't have disadvantage. All right, he does take the damage. He hears that, he, you see his glare. He just glares right through you. Um, I want you to roll a, a wisdom saving throw, actually. Oh, oh, good. He is just harrowing, isn't he? It's a little scary. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, oh boy. Ah, 11? 11, okay, I'm gonna roll his intimidation. Uh, it's a little scary. You just like time almost stops and he just slowly turns and the eyes lock for a moment and you're like, ah. Mm. But he's a little occupied, you're fine. But Raver will remember this. <laughs> if we kill Raver here, he won't show up later in the game, guys. You please. are robotic <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Me? Yeah, yeah you, now oh, you're not. It's it's just, it seems to have stopped. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Discord, Discord, Discord appears to be hiccuping. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Greckles, it's now your turn. I'm gonna go see. I'm, I'm gonna look around, see if I can find uh, someone's slightly unattended bag of gold. Maybe a nice weapon. Okay. Roll a sleight of hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this is plus five because gloves. You have the gloves still, yep. Yeah. So that is a twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right. You run up to a female pirate. Uh, she's currently, like, really getting into it, like, Raver! 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 Um, and you, you just daintily go in and you just grab the scimitar from her side. Wonderful. And that ends your turn. Mm -hmm. Ask, it is now your turn. Do I see a sling, a slingshot, or some kind of way to get some range going on here? Uh, roll investigation with disadvantage because of how big the crowd is. Blast. Uh, bu 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 here's my sheet. Uh, in investigation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck me, it's a three. You're looking, you don't see slings, you don't see slingshots. You see crossbows, that's about it. Is there anything I'm standing on that I can, like, just huck into my hand and throw? Uh, you look over and you see a chair. And you go, hmm. All right, I'm going to rip a leg off the chair. Okay, that'll take your turn. Okay. It is now Raver's turn. Da, da, da. Okay. He once again, he's going to try and break the grapple. So I need you to roll another athletics check. Okay. This one might be close. Uh, you rolled a 15. 21. He tries to rip and, like, get himself out of the grapple, uh, but you have him right in that headlock, and you are crushing down on his neck, and the audience is going absolutely wild. Borky is flexing like crazy as he's doing this. He's using his bicep to actually cut into his jugular. <laughs> All right, it is now your turn. You have him in a grapple. Any attacks you make will have disadvantage, I believe. Let me double check, though. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? Okay, because yeah. I was going to do something. Yeah. Borky's gonna. Let Borky's gonna. Check this real quick. Borky is going to run and do a bulldog. But Borky's gonna run and do a running bulldog. I will ask chat this: What page is grappling on? Because it is not indicated in the book. Order of combat, actions in combat, making an attack. One ninety. Sorry, I have to pause because I want to make sure I do this right. This one. Yeah, anyway. no worries, no worries. So, sorry, I didn't mean to throw you for a loop on the ground. No, 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 it's fine. It's it's. This is like like uh, Gaijin said. This is one of the hardest things in D and D to figure out. Uh, Apparently, they they made the rules much simpler. In, uh, they did, D. yeah. Also, by the way, Taka, I'm. You know what I'm listening to right now for this? Page one ninety five, Nitty. Yes, one ninety five. Okay. The, the remember Domino the Meyer tra soundtrack. Uh, oh my God, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got to bring the brothers back. Oh, brother, I believe one percent. Well, we are well, absolutely the top one of the top one uh, with point one percent, really, brother. See <laughs> appendix. Oh God. Okay. It's telling Do you me. Do you like to... grapes and wine? Oh, do I? See appendix. What? See appendix A. <laughs> the hell. 
Oh god, okay. Uh-oh. Uh, grab a creature, can use its section to escape. It just, just, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you move, you can drag or carry a grappled creature, but your speed is, okay, that's not what I need. Where's Appendix A? What does that mean? You have to go to find, sign form B, and, uh, I love, we, I love we've got this epic music playing and we're trying to do our taxes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't specify. Now, now, my... Raver, now Raver, do you have your I-99s? Can, can from, my from, my like a... from my understanding, uh, it's it's a normal attack roll. Okay, then okay. we'll go with that. It doesn't say in the book, or at least I can't find it right now. So, you can make a, you can make an unarmed strike. You yeah, can't I've really got... do much of anything else. I've got it. Porky's... Forky's gonna do a running bulldog, meaning he runs and then drops down with him still in the headlock, crushing his face into the floor. All right, uh, roll a, just a strength check then. Just a strength check? Yeah. Okay. Forky runs. Okay. 21. That hits him. You grab him and you lift him up his stupid dog feet and you just pile drive him into the ground in your grapple. And you hear a, a bit for just a moment as he hits the ground, poor fellow. Oh. His legs kick up and the tail's lashing side to side, and everyone's like, yeah! Like cheering loudly as that happens. Uh, okay, uh, do I, I roll damage, correct? Yep, roll your damage there. So roll a 1d4, and we'll 1D... add your strength. Five. And I also have unarmed brawler, so. 1d4, one D you didn't roll it? Two. Two, okay. And you you do have unarmed. That's where your 1d4 comes from, because ideally right, unarmed right, damage right. does 1d2 points of damage, but you have Tavern Brawler, which makes it 1d4, and you're also proficient at it. Yes. So, let me just grab it. And you're raging, so that makes it six. So that puts him down quite low. He is bleeding out his snout at this point. He is scrambling Ooh. and kicking. Uh, panic, no. it is now your turn. I'm going to go oh, for I... another vicious mockery. He's just going to... Oh, you're just you're peaceful, mean. <laughs> oh, you're not looking so scary now, are you? You're looking like a, a, a wet dog is what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Roll. Another max damage, wow. Yep. Oh, 17. He passes again. Yeah. He seems to have somehow have the mental fortitude, despite being a null, uh, to not be too crazy. bothered by your words, but you are hurting his feelings so much that it actually is kind of physical. <laughs> and he snarls and kicks and bites. And the audience is like, one pe one guy's just like, no, Raver! Like, he put all his winnings on this guy, and he is losing out. Uh, Grackles, it is now your turn. At this right. point, the female pirate looks and goes, but where's my sword? Slowly inch away, inch away, inch away, inch away. I'm just, I'm just, I'm imagining Greco, it's not unusual to be loved by, I'm just taking wallets. Do, do, do. No, that's, no, that's exactly what I'm doing. So here's, um, Monty, here's the thing. Um, I have an ability, Mage Hand Ledgermain. At third okay. level, when you cast Magic Hand, you can make a, a spectral hand invisible and you can perform the following additional tasks with it. You can stow one object in the hand that is holding container worn by another creature. You can retrieve an object in a container worn by or carried by another creature. And you can use thieves tools to pick lops and disarm traps at range. I want to do the second of those and try to pick someone's pocket of their gold at 30 feet. If okay, anyone's you, got- You still have to roll sleight of hand just because yes. of the movement. Yes, yeah. that, is, that is correct. I just it, um, and if you do it, that, you won't get the bonus of your gloves. That's because, fine. Yeah, it's not physically your hands doing it. So that's just that's totally fine. Because if because you know if worse comes to worse, it's just why is my gold floating away? Um, boop, 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 boop. okay. Sleight of hand. Where are you? Ooh, seventeen. Okay. You see a big pirate. He's a human. Oh, he rolled an eighteen. Um, uh, and he. Like, he's, like, cheering, and you try and, like, get into the bag, but it's pretty tight. He mm -hmm. watches your hand tries to, like, open it up, and he just turns and goes, oh, eh, 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 huh. He lifts up, and his buddy goes, what's wrong, mate? And it's just like, someone tried to steal my potato, and he pulls out a potato out of the bag <laughs> and puts it back and tightens it and puts it back on his side. Not his potato. <laughs> you monster, Gaijin. I can't help it. Dude, dude, Greckle's got to eat, too. That ends your yeah. turn. Yeah, that's fine. I, that's all I'm going to be doing until this fight is over, because there's nothing else I can do. Task, it is now your turn. You have the leg of a chair in your, your hand. Task looks like he, he looks at the leg of the chair. What he was about to do, but then stops, looks at the leg, looks down at the chair, 
just rolls his eyes. Give him the chair and tosses <laughs> it into the into the ring. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Nice. Persuasion check with advantage. Are you please. telling him to give me a chair? Thank. <laughs> no, I was, I was. He's rallying I'm the joking. pirates. I assume he is anyway. I I was gonna throw it in. Oh, were you? You'd have to do a strength check for that one. Yeah, I know, but like, I, my strength is not the better suited version. And ah, uh, yeah, like, let's see. Hold on. Uh. So it would have been persuasion. My persuasion is better than my athletics yeah. at this point. I'll give you persuasion with advantage because the crowd is currently going nuts. All right, so. here we go. 17. All right. One guy goes, yeah, give him the chair. And he grabs the chair, this orc dude, and he just throws it like loosely and it like clatters against the ground. I will move it because I can. It. <laughs> That's a big ass chair. Yeah, it's a big chair. It's a big wooden That's chair. I kind of imagine uh, like a steel folding chair, but made of wood. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. I'll say. <laughs> for for okay, so for for those of you who are who, who are listening to the podcast, Monty just throwing a ten by ten foot chair cube into the grid. It's hard to find the right size. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very big chair. Maybe there's Goliaths on the staff. Okay, maybe that's. <laughs> It's a very, this is a very, very, very inclusive. That was Raver's game. favorite chair. Yeah, that's his favorite <laughs> chair. That's his throne. There you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, Raver once again is going to attempt to break the grapple. I need you to roll another athletics check. Borky is like, I'm guessing they're on the ground now, just like. Yeah. You guys Borky's are like rolling him. around on the ground. Borky's Loki got him in a submission hold at this point. Okay. So, Borky's gonna do an athletics check. If okay. And. 19. 19, okay. Ooh, that is a natural 20. Oh, shoot. Plus three. He breaks the grapple. You stagger back a bit, and he goes with his multi-attack for a bite attack. Oh, shoot. Uh, that is not going to hit. That is oh. that's a 13 to hit you. Nope. He snatches up your bronze necklace, the one you got from the cave with the death dog in the episode that no one saw. He grabs yeah. that with his teeth and he rips it and he shatters it. And some of the beads go scattering across the ground. He <laughs> spits it out and hey, snarls. Hey, I forgot I had that. <laughs> you had it the whole time. Whatever. I know. I, I was joking, joking today. I, I remembered it. I remembered it. <laughs> that ends his turn. He he has multi action in his stats. So. Oh my. Did it, like, slow, did it slow mo like the, 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 oh, that thing I had. <laughs> It's now your turn. Okay. Um. Huh. All right. I'm trying to think of what to do. Uh, Borky, Borky's gonna. Ooh. If I go into a real fast, sorry. If I go to a frenzied rage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get a bonus action this turn, right? You get two yeah. actions, yeah, basically. But all right, uh, you can Borky make two the... attacks essentially, I believe. Let me double check. That here. was my favorite <laughs> necklace, and Borky. That will take up. Fr- that will take up your second rage slot, though, because if you do a frenzied rage, it has to be, I believe, you have to announce it before you rage. Ooh, I'm okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Let that, me let me okay. double check though. Let me double check. I'm, I'm pulling out the book three, right now. Three, ra- three, three rages a day. I remember. I got three rages. Yeah, a day. Yeah, you got three rages a day. We're just gonna double check because it's been a while. I actually forgot this rule. Um, you also have reckless attack as well. I also no, that'll be that'll be th- that'll be three today then. Up, 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 one second. Yeah, because you've already didn't you you raged during the dragon yep. puppet. Yeah, yes, I did. You have yes, not I did. slept yet. Uh, All right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double check here. Uh, you took path berserker frenzy when starting when you choose this path at third level, you can go into a frenzied rage when you rage. If you do so for the duration of your rage, you can make one single melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Uh, when your rage ends, you suffer one level of exhaustion. Ooh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, it's, this is another one of the examples of weird wording in D&D, so... so I don't know, if, I use, if I activate this, does it use up one of my abilities, so I only get one attack then? Or would do you, I get two? What do you think, Zeta? Would you have it use up a rage slot? Uh... To... to read off the uh, thing one more time? Uh, starting when you go... Because so you just did a regular rage. So yeah, yeah. when you choose to do a frenzied rage, you have to say you're going into a frenzied rage when you rage. It says basically it was what the wording suggests. Right. So, uh, yeah, then it would take up a slot and say I would say then if you're going to 
use a rage that is part of that and it would have it be its own separate thing, then yeah, I would say it takes up another rage slot. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's gonna take another slot. If not, you could just go into a frenzy rage whenever in a regular rage. I think that could actually get kind of broken, but I don't know. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna say it's but gonna take another slot then. It would get a little silly if you were just like, hey, I rage into frenzy, like, uh, Yeah. Uh, so then I, so then I won't then. Okay. The, <laughs> Sorry. The, 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 that's okay. No, no, that's okay. We got to clarify. Well, because that's my favorite necklace. Borky just go, Borky just goes for a right hook, right to the, right to the bad side of it, right to the good side of his face, but Borky can't really tell which side that is. Okay. Roll and a strength check again. Eighteen. That hits. Oh my god, you're slugging this guy. Yeah, you slug him right up, you do uppercut him. He begins to move, you're like, that's not gonna hit, and you just uppercut him straight up, and you see spit fly into the air like a sprinkler. And he shakes his into, head. Like, can I try? I was trying to punch him back into the chair. <laughs> oh, it's too far away. He's. It's that true. would be a specific type of attack to push him back. It is true, so I shall roll my damage. Yeah, roll your damage there. Three. Three. Okay. That's. That is plus five. That's eight. <clears throat> plus two. That's ten points of damage. He Just is a... seeing stars. He is like staggering side to side at this point. Panic, it is now your turn. <laughs> mm. Oh no. Thinking about what I want to say now. The entire time Borky's going for it, you hear a jet engine right up to the impact. <laughs> Uh, Borky hasn't been hit yet, right? No. All right. Well, I guess I'm going no. with vicious mockery again. He's just—he's just gonna stand up, cup his hands over his mouth again. He's just gonna be like, "You can't wrestle. You can't wrestle." Okay. I want you to roll a persuasion check as well. Okay. On top of oh, that, no. with advantage. The crowd will turn. Persuasion. Fourteen. Nine. Oh, fourteen. Okay. Uh, and then roll your, um... Vicious Mockery. Three. three. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. No, buddy! Humiliated. <laughs> he was humiliated. He looks up and the crowd is just like, You can't wrestle! <laughs> and Raver... <laughs> he got the Chicago side. crowd. He turns side to side and he goes into his pocket. He pulls out a white piece of linen. He throws it and he begins to leave, shoving people out of his way. <laughs> while, while, the, like... <laughs> while that happens, I'm going to rush over to Panic and just be like, take this, take this, take this, and, and just try to give him the uh, the scimitar. Uh, 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 okay, I take it. You don't, okay. have, any, you don't have any weapons, shut up, just take it. Okay. Um, B Borky, Borky sta standing there, so the, the combat's broken then? Yeah, combat's done. Everyone's cheering and clapping and screaming. A couple of random pirates just go up and like pat you on the back and- Bo Bo I was, I'm gonna pick up the white, the little white sheet he did and blow my nose on it. Okay. And, and throw, and throw so... it on the ground. And Borky throws up his fists. Ah, the audience cheers and applauds. Yeah. In rapid, rapid succession. Oh, is that right. Mr. Pitch? Is that all you got? I want to keep you, you handsome man. That is also a true accurate statement about me. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, damn, it, damn it, at this rate, they're going to just keep us forever here. Yeah, I know. Borky, 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 Borky. You guys, uh, I will stop the music real quick. There we go. Um... As the crowd makes a lineup near the betting table, people are given money, people are given random things. One guy gets like a candle and he smells it, he goes, yes, and just walks away with it. It's kind of weird. Definitely nothing like the crimson pit in the underbelly. Um, but, uh, one second, there we go. Uh, but the pitch does, after dealing out all the deals, he walks up and he goes, for an actor, I suspected not too much from you. Well, wouldn't you think fighting is the ultimate performance? I like the cut of your <laughs> jib, my friend. Ooh, hmm. I, nev I never had a jib before. Well, you might have some signatures for some adoring fans. And he hands you like a quill. And a few of the pirates come up like, Sign my chest! And one guy just rips his shirt open. Just, sure, like, Borky punches him. <laughs> <laughs> Roll damage? <laughs> Sign my tits! 
Oh. Sure. Four. All right. <laughs> roll damage. No, roll damage. Roll, roll damage. roll 1d4. 1d4. You weren't okay. expecting it. One, da one damage. You punch him in the nose, and he goes, hell yeah, and he walks away happy. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh. uh... <laughs> this is why you have to be careful with what you say. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Um, unless, you know, specific, very destroyed, destructive things happen. And Pitch kind of looks and goes, all right, come get your signatures, my friends. Come get your signatures. And the rest of you, the other three of you guys, what do you do? I'm going to go get, I'm going to get Borky's signature. Uh, before, okay. before, before, uh, Greg, oh, okay. What? No, I if want... you, I'm I next want... to you, I'm next to you, so you can technically stop me. Yeah, no, Tass is just going to grab him. And so this is what I've gotten so far. Apparently, they're going to be taking all the actors and they're going to appease a giant with a show. I don't know if they're gonna bring us back, but that's what the captain told me, thinking I'm an eight-year-old kid. There, the guy actually got done talking with the captain myself. There, I believe he's gonna have us come back. The place is called Talon's Rest. It's where they got all their loot. Um, well, the China is a room caller, apparently a vassal of the, the god of the sky and sea, and just wanted to show it was really weird. Strange. So the captain isn't lying then, hopefully. Hopefully. All right, I gotta go get Borky's autograph. Go. I just ma I, I mad dash. Can can I like flip over people with with a couple of um, acrobatics checks? Acrobatics checks. Do two. Uh, Twenty six no, and seventeen. Bo you do like a front like like a figure skater like pirouette thing like while going <laughs> upside down and you land and like some pirates are like hey oh like clap for you and they go Arr! go back to cheering. <laughs> And you, uh, you almost, uh, the other acrobatic check, you almost slip on the beads on the ground, but you manage to steady yourself, and you walk right up to Borky. No, by the way, do I have a feather and quill? Am I, like, signing stuff? Yeah, you're people, signing stuff. Like, it's just a straight line. It's just a squiggle, <laughs> like a bunch of circles in a row. <laughs> nice. Uh, you're getting really random stuff. You're, you're yeah. getting, like, uh, you just get, like, weapons and stuff, and you're yeah. getting, like, um... Yeah. Like people, people's chests seem to be kind of the the hip thing. Playing yeah. cards, bar um, soap, a dead rat. Shit yeah, like. <laughs> dead rat. You get the cat. You actually get the cat that the guy won. Um, mm. and... scruffles its neck. Oh, you good kitty, aren't you? And you see this beaked individual walk up. Are you are you keeping your your identity unknown? Or... Yeah, well, I'm keep I'm keeping the mask on for now. Um, okay. I want to I want to get right up, right up to Borky if they let me. Do they do they? Oh stop yeah, they off? let you. You're like in a lineup. It's like B Borky turns to Grackles. Oh, Borky sees him. I don't sign for birds. I do this, and Borky rips off the other nipple feather. You don't know you it's you don't me. know it's him. You have to do an insight. Oh, you don't check. know it's him. Oh, no, I do insights. You have to do insight if you wanted to figure out if it's him. I just... I have to do inside. And oh, would you yeah. even would you even be 17? suspicious that was that it was me? He sees a blue Kenku bird. He's gonna be reminded. I'm of not blue. I am covered. Blue. I am covered. covered head to toe and masked in an in an outfit. The only thing that's showing, I'm sorry, is gonna be your beak. There's no real way to hide that without oh, suffocating never mind. yourself. Never mind. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, you don't that's, know that's, it's that's, him. That's... Oh, hello there. What is your name? Well, I'm Fletch. That was a great fight. Thank you very much, Fletch. Are you also a bird person? Well, I, I'd suppose that I am with, with having this beak and whatnot. Yeah, say, yeah, say, I'm... where where are you going to be later? Uh, probably a jail <laughs> cell. Uh, probably to put me back in there because I uh, won my fight. Uh, I want to thank you so much for coming out to your event. You have a good weekend. <laughs> no, a jail cell, a jail cell. And like Pitch walks around from behind Borky and like fans himself with like this really illustrious like feathered fan. Oh. No, oof. no, no. A performance like that and <laughs> he closes the fan and the money you've made me? No. I'm going to get you a room. A guarded room, of course, considering that oh. you are the captain's prisoner. But uh... Absolutely. I don't want anyone stealing my stuff. Well, uh... You don't have much stuff, so I don't think that's going to be much of a concern. Oh, that's fair. If you want to get your autograph, I'd say, boy, do it now. I'm okay. giving this guy a top deck suite right next to mine. Borky, Borky signs the beak. <laughs> Zeke is signed. Well, thank you kindly. Hope to run to you soon. No problem. You remind me of someone. Talk to you later. <laughs> 
Well, Borky, and he comes up and he like grabs, like he kind of like Christian side hugs you, pitch. <laughs> that was a job well done. He like taps you on the chest with the fan. Thank you so much. Honestly, I didn't think I could win, but then I thought about it. I should win, so I won. <laughs> You're as colorful as something. Are you hungry? I am. You know, I could I could eat a lot of food. Yes. All right. Well, I have a room set up just for you. Come with me, and he guides you out. Borky Ragnarok. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. I want to see that. Borky Ragnarok, indeed. <laughs> Sorry for the nipple feather thing. I I, I forgot that you. I, I thought you, you gotta to knock. Checks, no, yeah. you, you gotta knock that shit off because you you could blow my cover doing shit like that, dude. I figured because everyone was I was punching guys in chest and they were all signing weird things. No one would think it was weird. In uh, that exact moment, that is like the only context where that would not ruin cover. <laughs> like of all the situations, love would be in, that was like the only one where I could get away from that. Uh, Plus, the other feather is gone. The nipple's gone. It's long lost it's to the gone. Wind. It's gone. It now. is but a you can, you but can, the gentle memory now. You can pull out a wind. feather if you want, if you feel so inclined to grab at my tits. But you know that's <laughs> your know. prerogative. Grab me. You're gonna get anyway, back eyes. to a game. Um, instead of feather tits. Um... <laughs> can we make it? Can we make it? Can we meet a tit Cancun? No. <laughs> no, like an actual. Well, no, no, maybe. like an actual blue-footed boob. No, actually, maybe. <laughs> a boob Cancun. <laughs> it's it's, blue... not, it's, it's a real bird. It's a blue it's a real bird. bird. It's, it's a actually... blue-footed booby. <laughs> it's a booby Cancun. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get so many messages now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm already getting people sending me birds saying Kenku. And I'm like, okay, look. <laughs> like, um, All right. So you guys watch as Borky is, rather than being led into the pit, is being very generously led out of the pit um, up some stairs. Uh, and that leaves the rest of you guys to your devices. Well, I... I yeah, we're, we're we're I'm probably gonna have to sneak back to the kids' quarters. But I gotta I gotta get to my bunk. However, uh, if is Panic still with us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where did you? Uh, oh, actually, no. I would recommend. I remember where uh, he put the uh, guitar and everything. Yeah, it's in Scarlet's trunk. It. Yeah. Well, no, no, not the guitar. Like the room that Bladefoot showed me. I thought the shirt was hit. I thought that it was hidden under my shirt with a teddy. Oh right, bear. right, yeah, yeah. You do have your, you do have your guitar with you. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to go into that room and see if I could find my stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Scarlet did say she knows where your weapons are. Right. So she's, I guess I'll go back and one. yeah. Then I'll go back and since she's the more sneaky, stealthy type, sneaky and stealthy type, I'll ask her. Okay. So you guys go kind of your separate ways. Yep, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we pretty much now know all of our stories at, at this congregation. Except for poor Borky. He knows nothing. <laughs> uh, Borky, you are led into an extravagant, like, extravagant, uh, that, a very nice room. What is the, what are the aesthetics? Red velvet, gold Ooh. trim, canopy Ooh. bed, giant Ooh. roast turkey. That is, thank you so much. Borky, is it, can I, can Borky hold it with, by just one? With yeah. One hand? Yeah. Borky puts his fist in the thing and just starts eating it. <laughs> that was well, a good fight. So, so like, is that the toughest guy you got on your ship, Mr. Pitch? Oh, no. We have much tougher people. Raver brings a little bit of, uh, fanfare, as it were. Why is this guy getting more and more southern? Anyway, uh... <laughs> Now, son. <laughs> now, son. No, he is um, a bit of a spectacle, you would say. But uh, you made more for a spectacle. And the audience this time was so alive and wonderful. Yeah, especially it was crazy when I beat the guy up. <laughs> and the money oh. you made me will make Talentura a smile for years. Who that? <laughs> Who is Talentura? That is the god of dumb luck. Or the god of luck, depending on how they favor you. And oh. tonight, and he grabs a big sack of money, kisses it. It favors me, and he throws it in the air and cashes it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, 
if your god is the god of luck, does that mean that a, a gambling hall is your church? Now, that's the funny thing there. We don't really have much formal establishments. He sits down in a chair and, like, brings up his feet and crosses them and, like, leans back on the chair. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say so. Kind of like how uh, certain establishments belong to Livrosia, like theaters and things like that. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me more. Very well. He goes on to tell you more. Um... Panic, where are you going? Oh, actually, I was going to do something, actually, real fast. I thought, I thought you were going to do a bit. Oh, okay. Actually, can, can, can I make a special request? Uh, you're a prisoner, so maybe. But, like, but, 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 like, what if I asked for, um, you to put someone else in a room? It would make me happy, and I'm really willing to fight even harder next time. Who do you have in mind? There's a singer called Starlight. And she's in the jail cell. Oh my God. <laughs> Could you put her in a nice room or something? Would that be nice? He is going to incite you. Okay. Now, I must say, and he leans out. I see. I got you covered. And he stands up and he leaves the room. And you're as it's locked behind him. Was that a yes or a no? You <laughs> can... You can see and switch. All right. Uh, Panic, where are you going? I just want to get an idea. Uh, 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 Panic is going to do what he did best in school and look busy. <laughs> okay. You you know in like the Star Trek video where that one guy is like turning a valve, but there's no valve there? Yeah. That's, that's what you start to do just on a random part of the ship. Don't blame um, me. Just swap in the poop deck. <laughs> doing a lot of oh, a lot of pirate stuff over here. <laughs> uh, it is beautiful, though. Actually, as you're out and about, it is a beautiful sight, and you do see a variety of things. Like there are sea fish and or sky fish. Sorry, not sea fish or regular fish. That's embarrassing. Um, sky <laughs> fish. There's lots of sky fish. Um, just flying through the air. Don't look like the bass, though. The flying bass that belongs to Doros, but um. <laughs> Hmm. No, majestic actually, and, and rather nice. And there's also an absolutely stellar Milky Way, almost galaxy, in front of your eyes. It's very beautiful. Jesus Christ, Christ, are we in space? I mean, you're high up in the air, and you're not near a city, so you can get a good glimpse of the stars. Yeah, there's no light pollution, buddy. Yep. <clears throat> Task. All right, head back to the room. Oh, did uh. Did uh, Chuckle Nuts follow me back as well? I'm not going to call him Sky, because fuck him. No, he, he went with the halfling, assumedly, to get drinks. Uh, All right. In a, a responsible child. But, yeah. Uh, and then Greckles. Uh, I'm going to head to my bunk, question mark. Hopefully Kiwi left out the uh, um, manual for me to look through so I have a better understanding of how the hell this thing works. Okay. Uh, you into the engine room and you see Irma. She's still working. Irma. Ah! So you're back. Irma, I, I think I might got a bit of bad news. I? I, I checked the core. When I knocked it, it went red. How red? Pretty red. She sits down. She actually I, like really deeply contemplates. I can go show if you'd like me to. No, stay here. Did you mention this to the captain? Well, he's a captain, so yes, I did. What did he say? He didn't believe me. Said it was just going to last forever. I got bad news for you, Fletch. Oh? It won't last forever. Hmm... When I built this ship, I was told that it was built with the heart of an Erasmus inside of it. But I think I was lied to. Hang on, I'm writing something down. We'll hope the ship holds until we get to the, well, the base, or we get the base back, or whatever. 
if that falls through and we can't get a replacement, then hmm, the Talon might not never fly again. How much time do you think we got? We'll keep an eye on the crystals. That right. will tell us. Also, Kiwi was looking for you. Oh, gotta find that little bugger. Point to the veterans. Stay out of my way. Yes, ma'am. She goes back to work. I'll head back up. Uh, we were. I was told it was gonna be what, like a, a full day journey to get to our destination. It's gonna be a while. Yeah, a day or two days, depending. Two days. Okay. I just couldn't remember if it was one or two. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Also, uh, Monty, I kind of wanted to ask Scarlet where my shit was. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll get back to that. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, yeah, oh. yeah. All right, I'll head up to my room looking for Go, Kiwi. You, you spontaneously combust and die. I'm sorry. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, God. So that's what that warmth was. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, you go into the bedroom, and you see Kiwi currently, legs crossed, book out on their, on their like, swinging hammock. Uh, Margo is just, thug. she's sleeping. She's snoring. Oi, Fletch, you're back. Shh, shh, don't wake everyone up, Kiwi. Oh, Marco sleeps like a rock. Oh. I left out my manual for you there on the, uh, on the, uh, the, the, well, your bed. Oh, thank you kindly. Did you get my sweet roll? Oh, I, I did say I wanted to get it on the way back out. There is, there is nothing. There was nothing? No. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Kiwi, there's nothing there. I'll try again tomorrow. Nah, it's okay. I got us covered. He pulls out two apples and he chucks you one. You little stink! Oh, I <laughs> love you. Take a big old bite. Okay. Good night, Fletch. Good night, Kiwi. And he rolls over and goes to sleep. I'm going to read that book as long as I can without getting too exhausted. I want you to do three intelligence checks to do that. Okie doke. Oh, boy. 21, 18, okay. 20. Not bad. It is so awful to read. It is so boring. So you look at the diagrams and you get a sense. So basically how it works is those crystals are connected to the big one. And by tapping those, you get kind of a gist on how it's going. Because if you stay too close to that one for too long, it can actually like cause exhaustion to you. It basically over a prolonged time, if you're right next to that crystal, it'll, it'll kill you. Okay, so um, tap, tap crystals, mm -hmm. connect to the big. Yeah. Um, the red indicates that it is running out of power, um, which doesn't make sense looking at the manual because it claims that it will not run out of power, but there right. can be fluctuations in power just depending on where you are and what's happening and other magical disruptions. Mm -hmm. So it might just be a magical disruption or it might be running out of power. It's hard to say. Um, I mean, even Irma doesn't know. Mm -hmm. um, there's also indicates that there is a release valve that you can actually drop the crystal with. Um, but it is clearly not indicated where that is, and you should consult your engineer leader for further instructions to uh, That eject. should be me. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Um, other than that, it's like just general mumbo jumbo. You learn was... that the Mygon, wait, Mygon tricycle flux is, uh, the amount of torque it's actually providing, um, to the wings. Um, if it's no. too much, the wings will flap too much, and they can break. And if it's too little, the ship won't sail off. So it has to stay within a certain uh, range to keep in keep in flight. Yeah, this is a lot to write down. Yeah, sorry. Torque. Two wings. What was the part that could kill me? <laughs> uh, if you just stayed near the big engine crystal, like the big, big uh, heart of Nerasmin, like right there. Um, mm -hmm. If you stayed near there over prolonged experience, you would just slowly um, experience exhaustion, like the scales of exhaustion, to the point where you would die. <laughs> That's over like the course of like days, which is why the engineers can't be in there. Mm -hmm. They have to engineer from a different room, and that's also why there's no one there. So the the the, the crystal protrudings we're hitting with the smaller crystals is actually the big crystal. Yeah, it's kind of like a okay. like a like a separate. It's kind of like linking a computer to a big computer. And I still, got, I've still got the page of the schematics. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna put all of these things to memory. Okay. Um, that way I can, I don't have to be like, the intelligence check to try and figure out where I go. I just, I need to, I, I want to take every. I there's there's no way in the short amount of time that would be possible. You'd still have to make intelligence checks 
for those okay. sorts of things. Yeah, that's, sorry. That's, that's, no, no, no. It's like if, if you had weeks, weeks, I'd say, yeah, sure, but you don't. You only you only have a night. So. That's that's fine. So to the extent that I can, that's all. That's all I'm saying. All right. I'm all not right. trying. To, I'm not trying to over op metagame here. <laughs> Okay. Um, Task, you slide into the room. You open up the window. You just crawl inside. Um, all the kids are asleep. Scarlet is awake. She like she's got her arms tucked beneath her head, and she just turns. She goes, "Hi, how'd it go?" Pretty good. The big orc fella kind of just punched out the giant knoll. Oh, that's awesome. Did my dad have a good time? Yeah, he had a good time. We had we uh talked a little bit. Your dad's a really good performer, by the way. Really? Yes. Uh, in our traveling little troupe, he actually is a very, very well experienced guitarist. Um, does he? Uh, she gets kind of like like a little bit sheepish. Is he married to someone else now? No, not at all. Okay. Now you said something about making sure where we can find my weapons, oh. or 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 all oh. the armory stuff. Weapons? Why would you need? Um... Remember my bow? I want to play with it. Ah, oh, it's so late though. It means a lot to me. It kind of got me to my previous home, and it's very important. My big sister made it for me. Uh, roll persuasion check with advantage. Yay! Ah, buddy. I lost my page. I apologize. Rut row indeed. So uh, persuasion with advantage. That is a 17. Okay, and she got a 15. So you beat her out. Uh, I'm rolling a lot of 15s tonight. Um, She... Okay. God. Thank you. Opens it that leads into uh, Captain Bladefoot's quarters. Oh, fuck! (sighs) Don't wake daddy. (laughs) Fuck off, I was just gonna say that! And she's gonna stealth. Okay. She goes low to the ground. She moves. You see that the uh, he's got a bottle and it's empty and he's sleeping, just leaning on the chair. His foot's up on, well, his one foot's up on the desk, the bladed one is on the ground. Nice. He's just snoring away. All right, so since I don't actually have a particular bow in mind, I'm just looking for a long bow or any kind of wage weapon. Uh, long bow uh, specifically, but if I can't find that, I'll find something else to replace that. Uh, she leads you into another, like, it looks like kind of like a side closet. Right. And she, very gingerly. Oh, what a champion. Natural 20. Gently opens it. Yeah, she's rolling pretty good. Uh, she gently opens it. And she goes, go, 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 go. Yep, go inside. And she closes the door. Oh, okay, what does your bow look like? And she starts digging through stuff. You see a lot of, like, ceremonial weapons, paintings, uh, busts. Like like sculptural busts. Um, there's a giant bronze ox, like huge, like life size, just in the room for some reason. And there's Jesus. like a hat hanging on the corner. And she turns to you and goes, Oh yeah, that one. He stole that. How did he steal it? Um, he told me he swung down and they tied ropes around it. It was during a big Ginter festival, and he stole it. Ooh. Boy. He likes uh, to make stories about himself, so he just does things like that. Kind of a showboater, huh? <laughs> we are on a showboat. Is it this one? And she pulls out a short bow. It's kind of yeah. nice. Uh, task will uh, task will take it. It looks like it, but it's a lot bigger. Bigger. Okay. She starts digging through stuff again. Uh, roll an investigation check. Bro, she will... can do. She will all. Also... Ah, four! No thanks! She rolled a one. Oh my god! All right, well, I guess I'm taking this then. <laughs> she uh, actually pulls out like a jester's hat. It's like, you'd look good in this. Task will take it. It's a jester's hat. It fits I you will... actually quite nicely. I will take it. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, it's actually funny. Your ears can fit in both sides of it. It's got like two sides, like two <laughs> little things. Oh God! <laughs> Draw that. Uh, shit. Well, I am a performance. Uh, I am a child performer, as as my story goes. Yeah, it suits. All right, so I'll take that. I'll take the bow. Are there any arrows? Uh, you scour around. Roll another investigation check. I'll say for this one. Can do. That'd be an eleven. Okay, and she's gonna roll again too. Okay, that's better. Uh, she finds three arrows. Better than nothing. I'll take They're it. They're all different shapes. Oh. And they look very ornate. One of them's got like a jade tip to it. Holy uh, shit. One is a jade tip. Another one looks just very old. It looks very, very old. It almost looks like that one elven arrow you guys had. Uh, and the last one is just super solid. It's like really heavy, kind of, and you're wondering if you can even shoot it. Um, but it is like a heavy iron arrow. Hold on, I'm just typing all this down. Um, Monty, really quick while, while that's going on, did I read anything about the core possibly going critical and exploding? Uh, nothing about it exploding. It does mention uh, in case of failure, do this. Um, basically, the ship would slowly descend to a certain altitude and then would then plummet from whatever remaining altitude is left. Oh, so there, the, nothing, nothing about like. Uh, no, it's not going to blow up. It's, it's, you know. I'm, I'm just looking for if there, if there was anything in the manual, like jettison the jettison the core if this happens. Uh, but I figured that would be a bad idea regardless. You do find that if there's like a huge magical interference, like. Uh, any magic is like attempted to be put into it, mm -hmm. uh, like, but like a super huge magnitude, then you'd have, you know, a big, you know, mm. but the, the chances of that happening are fairly low. Like someone, like 500 wizards would all have to blast this thing filled with magic for it to react. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Task will say, well, it's not my sister's and I'm not sure if we should even fire these, but this will work. Okay. Let's get um, out of here. Okay. And then you slowly open the door. I want you to roll stealth check. Ah, please, we can roll. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. You you what run you into a shelf and you hear something break on the ground and <laughs> He turns around and I'm gonna roll a dexterity check for, oh no, you're both caught. He stands up and he stares at the both of you, bleary eyed. Scarlet? Junior. What are you doing in my room? I wanted to find a bow to play with. He stares at what you broke on the ground. It's a picture frame that's face down. Oh no. You too. Get the hell out of my room. Can do. Let's go. Run. Do you run? He points to the actual door leading out of his cabin. Oh, yeah, no, no, into no. The bedroom. I, go. I go. I fucking go out that door. Scarlet runs, too. She grabs you and she runs. And you guys go out the front door right onto the windy deck. And uh, do you look back to see what he does? Uh, I'm afraid to roll a stealth check again for fear that I'll just fucking... It's just percept. History. It's a perception, just looking as you're leaving. All right, do so. 17. 17? Let's see how he hides it. You see him lift up the picture, and you swear you see a picture of him and a young person in the picture frame. And Scarlet just <laughs> slams the door. <sighs> oh, oh, we're in trouble. We're in so much trouble. I will take the fall for this. I really wanted this bow. We need to go. Come on. She grabs yep. your hand, and she leads yep. you away. Yep, yep, yep. You woke, you woke daddy. I did wake daddy. Fuck. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad. Taz, Taz just like pats her hand, like as they're running. Taz like just looks at her and pats her hand and just goes, "Again, just say it's my fault." Okay. We broke the picture, though. What was the picture? Him and his son. His, at least his real one. Oh that he shit! Had. Uh oh. It's is... probably best if we don't see him for a while. That's fair to say. Um, hmm? Maybe 
No. Um, come on, oh, I know a place we oh, can go. Oh, no, 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 no. You finished that sentence. Were you saying that to me? Oh, no, I'm, th no, Tass is gonna go, no, what? What were you gonna say? I just thought maybe now I should see my real dad, but he, I don't know where he is. But I, I know a place where we could sleep, and it's warm. Would it not be okay to go back to the room with everyone else? She slowly shakes her head. All right, then let's go. All right. And she leads you to essentially the janitor's closet um, that Panic, you escaped from, but you have no idea what this is, Tesk. Uh -huh. And you hear some sad trumpet music above you as you kind of find a bunch of sacks of what you assume is grain and some rope to kind of make a nest out of. And she uh, lies down on some, some linens and whatnot. And there's just like a sad, low, jazzy trumpet above you playing into the night. Uh, Panic, you're still doing ship things. I, I actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna look for other tieflings, actually. There are no other ones. You're not noticing them. You notice a lot of gnolls. You notice a lot of orcs. Um, couple drow, few elves, a lot of grubby looking halflings, and quite a few gnomes. Um, humans, pretty standard. Not I don't think you've seen a single dwarf yet. There is not a single dwarf on this ship. Um, and then one or two tabaxi, um, actually a decent amount of goliaths, and uh, not a lot of kenku. Uh, you saw this kiwi one running around, and you were like, what the hell is that? Um, and that was earlier in the day. Um, and just trying to think of what else you might see. Other than that, that's about... A lot of different races, mostly the outcasty ones makes kind of sense. It's a pirate ship. Uh, but surprisingly, no tieflings, no. Sailed with devils my ass. <clears throat> okay. Uh you you said I understood the book somewhat. It is some ancient weird language. It doesn't seem like it seems like it is written in code. Like it seems like there's puzzles almost to it. You see shapes and symbols and things that don't make a lot of sense and very weird cryptic illustrations. If I if 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 I work at it, could I possibly like decipher what it says? Uh, I mean, considering you have nothing to work off of to translate it, like another book, uh Probably not. Shit. You'd almost you need access to a library almost to get something that could actually help you. Hmm. All right. Well, back to swabbing the poop deck for me. <laughs> okay. You you do so. Um. And eventually, as um, it's been a while, your uh, alter self potion does fade away, and you are left to the night. Do you sleep? Because it's nighttime. Yeah. I. Okay. I I find. I, I, I try to look around for, like, bunks and stuff. Just... Uh, you find an entire room dedicated to just swinging uh, hammocks, and there's just an absolute cacophony of snores. Uh, but it is cozy? Okay. Question mark? <laughs> I mean, it's a place I, to sleep. I, I grab one of the... One of the I, I grab one of them, and I, I get in it. All right, you get in it, it swings side to side, but it's it's comfortable enough. Uh, Borky. Mm -hmm. As you are in your room, you're eating your delicious turkey, eventually you hear a scuffle outside your door. Hmm? Unhand me. I said, unhand me, please. What? <laughs> the door opens and Starlight's just shoved inside. And <laughs> the door is closed and locked. <sighs> ah! Hi, um, I asked him to get you your own room. I, is, is there another door to another room in here? The door <laughs> opens again, and like a little trolley with wine and roses just gets kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> and and you see before the door closes, Pitch going, giving you a thumbs up, and <laughs> closes the door. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Starlight just like grabs her face like, oh, my God, I'm in hell. Call the episode right there. <laughs> um, uh, so how was your day? Not very good. Actually, um, quite terrible. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I want to drink the wine. Do you want any? I, I don't, 
<laughs> the, um, yeah, I didn't plan for this. Uh, I, uh, Borky's blushing really hard right now. Uh, I do, uh, yeah, wine. Oh. Wine will be good. Porky's just pouring wine. <laughs> yeah, you just start. You just start pouring out that wine. Do, do, yeah, yeah. I just. Uh, this is for you. Would you like more or less? What do you want? I just didn't like that you were in a cold cell. I just figured you would prefer to be on a, you know, like a place with a bed would be nice. You know, and I, I want that fighter. I beat the crap out of that knoll. Hey, it's missing half his face. I knocked him so hard that he got sad and wandered off. But people she were walks up to you and she puts a finger over your lips. Oh, mm, mm, mm. And she takes the wine and she sits down and she just starts chugging. She's like, I need this. And that's yeah. it. Just a nice room. Yeah, that's really... I, um, I'm... I, you know... I'm sorry if it comes across like, um, I expect something from you, just not at all. What was I was intended, I just wanted to be nice. So, um, I'm sorry if it comes across not like that. I just, you, um, mm. c can I, <laughs> you all know why, like, I came up to you at the Romansion? I, oh, right, you did. Yeah, um, I want to tell you if I had to go, uh, I hope to catch you after the show at the opera swear away. I said, oh, uh, when you sang, I reminded me a lot of how my mom sang. And I want to say you're really good and you should never stop pursuing it. And thank you for letting me think of my mom and not be sad for the first time in a long time. She keeps sipping the wine and she puts down the glass. So that's out of sigh. My name is Laurelay. What was that again? Laurelay. I will type spell it out for you. Laurelay. Laura. Okay, I'm just gonna write. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is cool. Laura. Uh, it's a very pretty name. So is Starlight like your stage name? It's my escort name. Ha! Huh. Do you escort people places? Because I've done. Uh, we escorted a, a little girl home one time when she was uh, kidnapped <sighs> by a uh, giant monster. Uh, not not that type of escort, I'm afraid. I work at the Raw Mansion. Yeah, I know you sing there. I, I do other things as well. She kind of starts laughing. She just starts laughing her head off. She's like, wow. Roll an insight check. She's just laughing and laughing and laughing. No, no I, but, but I don't want to. Borky doesn't want to roll an insight. <laughs> wow, she thinks you're swell. That's probably why she's laughing. <laughs> Well, he starts laughing too. Uh, uh, for real though, do you use like a do you use like a bow and arrow? Are you more of like a close combat fighter when you escort people? I I do this, and she swishes her hand, and the some wine is spilt, and the spilt wine disappears. The table straightens itself. The trolley moves to the side, and she swings her hand and brings it in, and you can feel the arcane power mm. rushing back to her palm. She gives you a smile. Cool. Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> the far off distance I... panic laughs on the deck of the ship. Ah, <laughs> in the distance. So <laughs> I cannot understand the word of this. <laughs> so uh, I know there's schools of magic. Which school is this? Uh, that was uh, a spell called prestidigitation. A simple spell. Mm. You yeah, see, my friend Panic, he likes to cast vicious mockery. I That's think awful. I know he says some really mean things. Oh. There was this. There was this. There was this goblin called Ted once. Just 
you start talking with her and you tell her stories yeah i was gonna skip it there and you guys talk into the night and you feel greckles the rumbling of the ship and it smooths out task Mm. you rest in the nest of linens and you 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 kind of wake up and you see scarlet just staring up the ceiling smiling in panic you are thumbing through this book and you see an illustration in it that looks kind of like you and that is where we will end our session tonight wait a minute i've got a quick question Uh uh-huh does it look like me in the fact that it is a picture of a tiefling or does it look like me in the fact that it looks like me it looks like a demon that looks kind of like you like at least the same type of horns and whatnot so this was a fun session Mm -hmm. that was was, i'm gonna stop my recording by the way i went into a little bit of something sitting here love you austin Love you, uh, Austin. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, Austin. I started coughing a whole lot, so I <laughs> muted myself. Oh. Uh, so love you, Austin. This is what, 33? 33, 33 I believe. This, yeah. this, this is 33, guys. Now, that was. Uh, oh, man. It's, it's Panic's long lost cousin, Blanick. Blanick. <laughs> this is episode 33. Now, I don't. I mean, like. Uh, Sky, t- Sky, like uh, high times at uh, I mean, like I'm trying to think of a good like, pay, like, just because we, we just we just did we did we did airship stuff. Yeah. I don't want to call the episode airship stuff, but this was a fun session, and that was a fun scene with with Starlight. I I'm really happy about that. Daedrin or Orvacon, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Got the sub to work. Have more bits in celebration. Thank you so much. Man. Sky high lies. Oh, that's fair. There's a lot of lying going Daddy on. Daddy issues. Daddy. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty good. Daddy issues. Oh, I boy. like that one. I like that one. Oh, da- Daddy issues. Oh, Draconian, thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you guys so much. We got uh, Sky High Times and Daddy issues are the two high ones. Oh, Probate, 1,000 bits. Monty, please give Panic a chance to explain things to Scarlet. 10,000 bits. That's a big request. That's a big request you're asking, Probate, but thank you for the 10,000 bits, dude. Thank you for supporting the show, as always. You're so kind. No, a lot of people in the chat are screaming Daddy. Sky, Sky Jinx. Sky, Sky Jinx. Jinx. Oh, Sky Jinx is pretty good, too. That's good. That's Sky good. Jinx. I vote Sky, for that one. Sky Jinx. Sky Jinx. Uh, I'm okay Sky with Sky Jinx. Jinx. Yeah, Sky, Sky Jinx. No, Sky Jinx. Good. We're going to call it Sky Jinx. That's, that's a pretty good stream there. Yeah. Yeah. Sky Jinx wins. All right, there we go. Because Daddy Issues, as the name of a podcast, is like, wow, people might come in there thinking one thing, and then they get another. <laughs> a lot of fake dads on that ship. Listen. <laughs> Listen, you guys. Listen, I'm a fake kid, okay? Skies of Jpedia. <laughs> oh. Skies of Jpedia! Sorry. Dun, 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 That's dun, so dun. strong, though. I it know. Is I will be. I will be honest when we're not in imminent fucking danger. <laughs> Sky Jinx. This is the. This is the officially the Sky Jinx storyline. By the way, guys. <laughs> oh, and you could you could bet your bottom dollar when fucking uh, when uh, good old fucking Blade Dad comes in, and he starts screaming at his kids. You could bet that fucking Task is gonna be like, like grab his wrist, like you fucking stop. Thank you for the bits, 700 bits. Thank you, Joker18. We have to adopt all the children. Great, now we're going to have an orphanage. Great. No, I re- Task That would like, be- Oh, look. He, first it was him with Nariel, then it's Israeli with him. He's not doing it a second time, because the last time, they all got burned to cinders. I just imagine Task as, like, I just imagine him as the the werewolf from uh, Castle Trans- Hotel Transylvania, about to sleep. <laughs> I close this for a second, just covered with, like, orphan kids. Uh, uh. Panic is not ready for fatherhood. He has made that abundantly clear. You've given me so many notes. Ugh. I know. You're having, you're having an intricate story. We all have separate stories, and I think it's really fun how we're all got separate things going on. This is most intriguing. I would love to have as much information as possible because my god if we could find something like it near max level and build our own mini ship oh my god uh dean 261 is asking to dean real fast or do those orphans grow up to be the main characters of a final fantasy game i wish 
but they don't remember. Damn That's it, someone kind of it. caught my reference for a particular sky whale, my favorite sky whale of all time. Laboon? Laboon. No, not Laboon. What's that one from Skies of Arcadia? Yeah, I think, is it Laboon? It's Laboon, isn't it? it? No, Laboon is the one from One oh, Piece. Oh, that's from One Piece. That's from One Piece. I can't remember. It's the one where the one, Captain Drock was like, ah, I fucking killed my son. Rackham? Fucking... Rackham? Is it Rackham? No, General, General, General Ra Rackham, yes. It's, um, I think it's Rackham. Yeah, Dro Dro Drock was the one chasing it. That where, was easy. Where is my Skies of Arcadia HD? <laughs> Skies of Arcadia HD. Whoa, 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 Nadine. I want, I want a remaster Skies of Arcadia. I'm sorry. Well, Nadine, I, I, you know, I had to pick one up because I lost. We've lost. Two oh, copies. I know about that, and I was very mad at you for that. Honestly, we need to play that at Christmas one point. Don't. It's, I know it's like an 80-hour game, Nadine, but we gotta find time to do play it. We have to. Oh God, be great. A sky, uh, sky whale. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it. It's like it's what a piece of majestic. Creature. I'm making armor out of that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Some sort of magic five minutes taken, kids, and have free workforce. This is great, but there's gotta be. There are laws in Alavas. You guys know that because of Meryl. I Damn am. It. We are not keeping a child and making fucking child labor. That's stupid. Well, well, guys. You could have <laughs> just cut it off. It. We're not keeping a child. <laughs> we don't know what fate will bring us, guys. We might have to save it to children. Save it to children. Con Con yes. Connor, Connor, Connor. Yeah. Why do I now just see fucking panic? No! He no practice the fiddle! Somebody <laughs> <laughs> touch my spaghetti! Sega canceled the HD. Are you serious, Dean? Yeah, apparently, yeah they, they were going to make an HD port of Skies Arcadia, but they're like, fuck you, we're Sega. And they just personally came to our house and they just like just like pissed on our shoes. They're like, yeah, yeah, Hello. we'll spend money to do this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Let's be honest, how many people would actually buy it? I, every, a lot of people. A would lot of people. No, a lot I, of people. I, like, have a, I have a better idea. I can do the fucking Skies of Arcadia game. Dun, 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 dun. Watch that and feel better. Watch this and feel better. Oh. Spaghetti crimes. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is Alrighty, good. Gu Alrighty, guys. This has been the Unexpectables. Catch us on Monday at seven o'clock uh, PST, ten o'clock CST. Sorry, bleh, nine o'clock CST and ten o'clock EST for the fan art special. And don't forget to check us out again next Wednesday for the next exciting episode of the Unexpectables. Before we go, guys, anything you guys want to plug? Starting with Gimba. Um. I am finalizing that. Oh, oh, oh! I got a big announcement actually. Um, the new episode that I'm working on, that I'm working with Joey. Uh, since my Patreon hit 2K, I can finally accomplish one goal of having a lot of custom sprites. There will be custom animations of the story that I'm going to be recounting of one of the best gun ninja in history. So Ooh. that's kind of a big deal for me. It might not be for anyone else. That's but... pretty cool. Thanks. So yeah, lots of cool stuff coming down the pipeline. All right, Snake, where can they find your stuff at? <clears throat> and they can find me on Twitter at SenileSnake, and they can find me on Twitch at SenileSnake with a three instead of an E at the end. Hooray! Yay! Zito, I know you're not streaming that much right now, but where can they find you nonetheless? You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito, and yes, I will not be able to stream because by the time they actually do fix my internet, it's not going to matter because I'm moving into a new apartment and I will be getting that new internet installed on the Saturday of February 10th. So hopefully the week after the weekend of the 9th, I can start streaming again, hopefully. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to get mad at my ISP and tell them, well, how are you going to own up to the fact that you just fucked my, my service for an entire month? Whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm still a little salty about that. Don't blame me, man. Don't blame yeah, me. Once you're up and running, we'll, we'll, we'll be plugging the crap out of you being back, though. Yeah. Monty, <laughs> where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue and on Twitter at Monty Blue as well. Awesome. All right, guys, you can find me here and the Twitter of the same name, guys. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to get back into some more ex-comedians, too. Which is always fun. And, uh, Fuck shout out MD Productions died, guys. A very bad death. He got hit, his head bloated off. Oh. Also, when Panic's in that closet, is it called the Panic Room? Good night, everybody!